Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting, February 20th, 2019 at 6 11 p.m. in the Deerfield Municipal Offices here in South Deerfield. Uh, we're going to start our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Just so everyone knows this meeting is being recorded. Um, first item on our agenda is we're going to go into executive session pursuant to Mass General Law C30A Section 21A3 to conduct strategies with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigation position of the public body and the chair so declares. Do. Which I do. I, Trevor McDaniel. I, Carolyn Ness. I, Henry Camosa. So we will uh, reconvene into open meeting when this uh, session is done. We anticipate it to be somewhere around a half hour to 40 minutes. Yeah, no later than seven. No yep. later than seven. Okay. Now we're back in session. Well, I've, I've got all this. kinds of pieces, you know. Oh, this, this just before one. 7, we're going to have a, a okay, scheduled hearing. Okay, you're welcome to that. For a sewer abatement issue in regards to sure. irrigation and the sewer um, Actually, um, uh, from the facility manager, uh, Bob Lesko, from the Deerfield here. Elementary School and Frontier Regional School. No, that's welcome, Bob. I, I, was, I sent something to Sarah. I was looking for that. Okay, I think well, I definitely saw this and what you sent to her. So I think this is what I'm looking for. Okay. That's the only thing I ever saw. All right. So, Plenty of photos, too, no? <laughs> oh, okay. I can't. Hey, Bob. Let me do that. Thank well, do you, you want to, uh, this is the email. Oh, perfect. Thank okay. you. Yep. Good. Hopefully we can finally straighten this out. It gets you a studio that makes sense. Are you? Good. We're just overwhelmed with all the stuff going on. <laughs> Hi, Anna Lee. <laughs> hey, Anna Lee. How are you? Just waiting for some copies of the information from Mr. Lesko. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. So um, we had asked um, Bob to come tonight because we wanted to discuss the sewer abatement for Frontier and the. Uh, the treasurer collector is anxious for us to resolve this issue because we need to issue the sewer commitment for this fiscal year. So uh, we're sort of waiting to see what you decide about how to move forward with the usage, with the irrigation issue. So okay. do you want to take it from there, Trevor? Okay. All right. Or Bob? How about I'll just yeah, kind of walk through this as I see it. And sure. if you folks have any questions or basically we have, uh, two water meters in the high school. Um, there is a downstream water meter that feeds nothing but the irrigation. Uh, that meter has been read sporadically over the years. Um, normally, what occurred is we received a, we, we, we weren't billed on the usage on our main water meter. We were given an allowance and, right. and so we were, we were billed a smaller amount, but it wasn't based on any meter readings. And no one was, no one was objecting to that. We were going along that way for quite some time. And then two summers ago, during one of the cycles, we received a bill 
that was for the full amount of water that went through the water meter. At which point, I started meticulously reading the, the water meter that serves the uh, irrigation. I've actually, for the last year and a half, I've got pictures. I, every, the first of every month, I take a picture of the meter. Great. Right. Um, what I'm, and that's on this, and that's this, and that's this, this. this sheet. Correct. Yeah, those that's are sheet. those are the okay. readings are the from readings that sheet, and you can clearly see we use a large amount of water during the summer, and, and nothing in we the use winter. nothing during the winter through yep. that irrigation meter. So, yep. you know, the last cycle here that we're working on, the main meter readings were 2,411,000 gallons, and the amount of water that went through the irrigation meter was 2,248,000. So very clearly the difference between the two was 162,000 gallons, which gotcha. was the amount of water we used in the building. And if, if you look on my spreadsheet that I've just been kind of working this out on, you'll yep. see that that's pretty typical based on the last couple of years. We use right. somewhere between 100 and 160,000 gallons of water in the summer in the school. Yep. So it, to me, it's, 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 it's fairly simple. The water that goes, through the, that goes through that irrigation meter is sprayed on our fields and doesn't go down, doesn't go down the sewer in any way, way shape, or form. And then so, and, and this reading was, uh, I'm just trying to figure out the. Uh, who am I, what is this? Um, how in here? Oh, so that's the bill. This that is we the bill. That's the bill that we send out for the sewer bill that I got from Barbara. Right. Just to give us an idea of what, what was getting sent out. The usage was 620,000 gallons. Um, and the main well, meter. Here it says six, 518,000. Oh, the 518 for all those years, that was the agreed upon um, rate, I think, okay. that, that you paid. That was just an that arbitrary agreement. We, we weren't reading said, the meters. Okay. We just kind of all right. so agreed on that. We weren't paying that. sewer right. at the time. All right, so the, the 620,000 is what was used yep. in the winter time. Right, and then, and of that, well, and that's what I was trying to figure out, the 620, but but you were saying the main meter was was two million four hundred and ten. Yeah, I, I would say our our baseline water usage in the winter in the entire building is somewhere between three hundred and three hundred and fifty thousand gallons. Mm -hmm. And then in the summer, our actual use of water is somewhere between a hundred and hundred and sixty thousand gallons. So basically what's that saying is during the summer, we're using somewhere between 100 and 160,000 gallons of water for irrigation. Right. So, so actually, Bob, what you're saying is that um, the old flat rate wasn't too far off. Well, no. It, it was. wasn't too far off. It was a little more safer <laughs> to the town than the yeah. school, though. Well, so I'm trying to understand the usage at 620, uh, 620,000 gallons that's in the bill. Um, and I'm trying to look at your sheet and figure out where that 620 comes from. I have no idea. Um, well, that, well yeah, that's, I think that's, that's based on the readings that the water department takes. Um, so that, that, that was my concern is the, the, the discrepancy between 620 and, and the 162 and that's, that's where I was like, well, what are we missing here? And I know you can't explain it either, yeah, right? And, and I, but I also know that the water, the, the water department is not reading our irrigation meter. It's no. in a separate, it's right. in a separate locked location from the main meter. So Understood. that's 600,000 so gallon figure. I have no idea where it came from. Because they're reading that full amount of water that goes into your building. But that's you're correct. saying it was Do you have 200 this, and something, right? Or 2 million something. Do you have the meter readings going back? Since we don't have, uh, you have 18 starting in January of 18. What I have, I had prior to that, 
I read that meter sporadically. Okay. And it was only read a couple of times a year, and the meters don't line, and the reading dates don't line up well with the town, so it's very difficult. Um, you know, I did the best I could on this spreadsheet to take those old readings and try to match them against. But this is the meter reading for the irrigation system. That's correct. The, okay. The, well, there's so one. The, what, I'm, what I'm saying, well, I don't know. It, it says water meter, water irrigation. meter irrigation system. He, he takes a picture of it. Every right. Month. So but I'm talking the main meter. Right. Going I, into I, the I understand. But so what I'm saying is that in January, February, March, in April, that, and into May 1st, that irrigation meter did not move at all. That's correct. Right. Okay. So if, if, you, if you went backwards, if you went to like December of 17, it probably didn't move. That's if correct. If you went back to November, it probably didn't move. That's correct. And if Just, you went back to October, it, it probably move. didn't it's about move. One, it's about 272. Bit. Okay. Yep. So, and that's where it starts. So climbing. if you take the, that six month period, that th there was no water, this uh, irrigation meter didn't change, and the water department says that you used 800,000 gallons of water, that's what you went through the building because nothing went through the um, irrigation system. I guess, where, where does it, I, I don't think well, I've ever seen a. I, I just picked that number out of the air. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm just saying, whatever the bill reflects. Now, this particular one here is a bill for November, I mean, excuse me. May 1st of 18, uh -huh. and it says 620,000 gallons. So I would say that that is a fair and accurate amount of water that went through the building because you would not have used the irrigation Actually, system. Actually, consider, I, I, I don't quite know where the, is, is, that a, is that a sewer bill or a water bill? It's a sewer bill, but it's based strictly on the water usage. Okay, but right. the, the water bill and the water usage if you look at the water bill for 4118 through 10818 was 2,400,000 gallons went through that main meter on the water bill. Right, but that's a different period of time. That's a different period of because time. Because this billing period is 1117 through 5. Let me I, or through see uh, the, 418. The sewer bills are not based on any let me get you the yeah, our sewer yeah, bills the red in are May. based on the water bill. They're billed, they're billed in June, but they're red in May. Right. And mm -hmm. then the, that's right. from May through backwards through to oh. November. Right. 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 Or right. October. Through October. Well, it's, it's it's really like, it looks November. like they're billed, it's May 1st they read it and November 1st they read it. So it, you presume it's... Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. So, no, it isn't. It should be because... Um, sorry. That May, was the issue date. Yep. Yep. No, no, no. This is not. This so is for the summertime. Right, because they're getting a this bill is in from, October. This is from April till October. So this is a summertime reading. Okay, so you want the, the time period before that? Yes. The winter time, yeah. Okay, all right. I've got it here. Great. Hmm. Whatever uh, okay. other the reading is in winter is is what it should be. The in, yeah, they, except that, except that the one should have been 340,000. Well, they, they use more water. Yeah, well, they use more, but most of it's on the on Irrigation, the yep, right, exactly. and, and we get that. So, so, so the only bill that we should be really adjusting is the winter bill. Is the summer bill. Well, yes, okay. if you want to look at it that way. But I think that was my point to him, is that you know, according to his uh, readings, that during the winter, months the irrigation meter does not move at all. Right. So, so if the, the water department came up with on in April that there was six hundred and twenty thousand gallons That's the real charge. That's the real charge, yeah. yeah. Then then in the summer what we're abating is the summer rates right. which are based on oh, subtracting sure. the water total water bill. You must have both of those and just take Photocopy. Right. I'll take both of those and yeah, make yeah, that one that and then the other one. Thank you. No, okay. Oh, the thing that you just took. Oh, you want the other one? I was. Yeah, yeah I think it's right there on the table. Way, way too much paper. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that's it. Where'd it go? I looked at. Just so we could. No, but you have see it what I'm saying? To look exactly. Out so after. what sure. we're helps, abating helps is the summer. It's it's very confusing. Oh, I know it is. No, I know it is. I know, but when you when you when you the school people are not in session in the in the summer.
yep. and you're using it for irrigation in the summer. Yes. Whatever, what we are abating is the summer bill, and it, we just subtract the irrigation amounts. That's correct. From the sewer. Absolutely it's, correct. It's very simple. It, yep. I mean, it makes Okay, total and that's sense. what I've done on my spreadsheet there. Yeah. On, on, at this bill, but this bill is incorrect. Exactly. Okay, this bill is not. Oh, this one's Deerfield. Why is this oh, incorrect? Oh, oh, oh. Do well, you have a? No. Do you have both front? This is Deerfield Elementary. Because, because look, no. Oh, did I give you the wrong? They I'm, I'm here. sorry. Here. I got. They want it right here. That's why it's zero. And that's that date. This, this is the winter time you use. And that's the correct amount. Sorry, I've got some. I may be missing a bill if I slip the Deerfield Elementary one in here. Okay. So I just. We agree. Okay. I just yep. didn't know if you. Uh, no, I, and, and that's exactly what I said. There's no abatement. There's no abatement on the winter bills. Right. It's only on the summer one. That's the only one that I would consider. I am missing this bill because I just went today to look for it, and this is what I was given. It was the wrong one. Gotcha. So gotcha. I don't have this the bill with me. The frontier one from, yes. from that time frame. Yes, so and I fine. may have plugged the wrong number in there because yep. I was given this bill today when I went and. Yep, yep. That's fine. Well, we'll sort it out. We'll figure it out. That's, that's, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, I mean. If you could photocopy those two, at least we'd have that to kind of compare for those three, whatever you have. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. This bill is correct. I'm okay. I think it is. It is correct. And so what I would, I would make a motion to be willing to obey whatever number you can sort out with them so it doesn't have to wait any longer. But it would be the summertime bill only. Right, because the winter bill is... Right. Well, it's, just, it's just, you, it's very simple to take the total you amount of You probably just received that summertime so, bill in the last couple of months, I would say. Yeah. I, but your, the, the, the summertime bill will, will tell us something about usage. That wintertime bill is the one that... Right. The, and so that's why I don't have a problem making a motion to abate the, the summertime bill. Mm -hmm. Because... We don't know what it is, though. But we don't know what it is, and so you can sort it out with Trevor. Yep. And Diana and Trevor and you can sort it out, okay. and I'm fine with that. I'm going to so make that motion. Yeah, you don't right. have to wait another two weeks. Yeah, this is a much earlier bill. And then, uh, Are you okay with that, Kip? Yeah, I'd just like to look at okay. it and just make sure. Yeah, because I think, so you have the usage oh. here. The summertime bill we're talking about is the one from 4118 through 10818. Correct. Yes. And so that would have been 162,000 in actual use, which is the difference between the irrigation meter and the. That makes sense, but I mean, I just. But this bill is from May in the summer to August. Uh, yeah, so that's a summertime bill. So that's so this may not be accurate, Carolyn. That's what I, that's what I'm saying. Is no, because th this, this is, is not. May. This is not a summertime. This is this is, ends. It's it April. We're building May through October. No, this is this wow. is the summer. This is the winter bill right this here. This is the winter bill. This okay. bill is accurate. I know what I know what you're saying, but oh, this I, is a different. I, I don't think that's right. That's I think not the, the, the gallons right. Okay. So in this particular one, um, let's see. It was forty. So I'm going to yeah, trust that's their the math. Current one. Yeah. So, so if you take away the irrigation from that, it's, it's the 162. Okay, and what was the bill, the sewer bill? Was no, not that. Oh. No, no. This, we don't have the bill. Yeah, I haven't have seen. I haven't seen the sewer bill for this time period so, yet. Oh, uh, um, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And so yeah. okay. what I'm saying, Trevor, is we'll just that get one more copy of this. Motion. Right. Just well, it's possible. Abate. I mean, I'm not sure if it's the same. And we might not have a bill because we might have not have done the commitment. Because remember what I was saying, we haven't. I don't know what period you're missing. I'm sorry, but but I know we haven't done the commitment for this fiscal well, year. Well, then yet. we can't abate. No, I think. The bill. Well, no, you're abating. I think it's the, maybe it's the second half of the commitment. No, there has been what what Barbara has asked you for in the email. Um, you know, she, that that was like the spring now. Mm -hmm. I guess is what I'm saying. That's the spring that we're still looking at, the summer bill. Well, why don't you, Trevor, why don't you talk to Barbara? I will. And, and just see if you can get the newest one of these bills. Yep. Uh, the most recent one, because this one. Um, 
Well, this should be, I mean, this should be the most recent because it's due December. Now, unless she's going to tell you that they're so far behind. Right. You know, but this is from the time period. So we know that this is the water usage from last winter. Mm -hmm. um, right. And we've well, got, we now we've got all of Bob's reading, so that should be pretty. Yeah, I, I actually I've taken. I know you took a lot of photos as well. I, I've got our bill in case there was any questions. Yep. I actually did the main meter too. That's perfect. So and you have a picture of both of those for yeah, every month. I've, yeah, and I've been reading it every single month. That's and good. those are what you I wrote down. Well, okay, good. Let me ask you this, Trevor, and, and I'm confused about this. Why would the town send a bill out in June and not expect payment until the end, until December? That doesn't seem like us. That's not Barbara. <laughs> no, I no. don't know. Well, that's what I'm saying. The bill date is 6-1. I think the bill date might be the, re uh, yeah. I don't and then know. the due date is this. So I, but this so is. I'll a, talk to, I'll talk to Barbara about it. We'll square it out. But you can, you know I what will. I'm saying? I okay. do know what you mean. But yep. You, you need to second that Trevor's authorized to sort this out and just. Well, I can bring it back. For do, you want to, do you want to bring it back? I happy don't care. to do it, whatever. I, but, but, I, I want to get something for Barbara, so whatever. Okay. Do you want to wait another two weeks then? Mm, probably not. Okay. Well, I mean, how, what is, I can how report is this to Diana what, what what I found. What, what problem she can... does this cause for Frontier? Right. The only the only thing I think is is that it's like I said, it might be holding up the this, the next billing cycle because we haven't done the commitment because she's waiting because you you last year sort of changed the way you were going to assess them for sewer billing. You mm -hmm. were going to do it based on this method that you're Just trying reading. to figure out instead of that flat rate method sure. used to do. Correct. So now we're, we're into it a, a year and we still are, um, you know, they're basically saying what we're billing them is not correct. They're asking for a fairly significant reduction in that bill. In so summary. Barbara doesn't want to oh. issue another bill, excuse me, um, right. until you resolve this. But we you know, need to this. see a current <laughs> bill mm -hmm. to know what it is. Right, yeah. but I guess I'm, you don't have, so you don't have, the, don't one, have the one in bill. front of you isn't the most current? I, no, I, this, is, this is from May. It's from May. Right, but it's I wonder if I don't know. Is, oh, so it's, is it? Well, I guess the question is: Is it a fiscal? Is it a, the first half of fiscal eighteen? Are you looking? Yes. At, I mean, fiscal nineteen. Excuse me. Is it a fiscal nineteen bill that you're looking this is, at? This is May of two thousand eighteen. But is it for? It's for the past. For the past. Okay, so, so yes, you don't have the first. You need the first right. half of eighteen bill. Okay, thank okay. you. I'm sorry. Yes, we'll I will get out. that yeah. from. Barbara. I've got enough stuff from Bob now that I think we can. Because I'm pretty sure we've done the first half. Of, okay. of so do you want to, do you want to put me. on the agenda again, or do we want to just? I think it? I'll figure it out. I'll give it to Diana, and she'll re relay it. If you guys have any issues with it, okay. we'll just throw it on but, a meeting. But we forward. need to vote on that. Okay. Because this is a, a we have to make the. Okay. Go ahead. Here. Motion so is. To, I make a motion to um, allow Trevor to sort this out, since we are all on the same page, with Diana and Barbara and. And pass Bob. the information back to you. Sure. I'll we can, we can review it, but then just go ahead and get it done. Any yep. further discussion? Nope. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank okay. you, Bob. Thank you Thanks. for coming so, out on a night. Yes, like Bob. Th sorry about that, but thank you thank for you, documentation. Bob. Very helpful. So I have the motion basically is to allow the abatement to proceed as determined. Yeah, yeah. sure. We're all on the same page. We gotcha. know what the problem is. We just have to sort it out. Okay. okay. Excellent. Next thank item you. on our just agenda is the frameworks for DEP consent order regards to the clarifier at the wastewater treatment plant in South Deerfield. So I can give you an update where we're at. That, I sure. mean, we've, we've pretty much done this with, um, we, we had signed uh, or, or given approval to Dave Prickett with uh, reviewing the letter through our town administrator um, about the consent letter um, that DEP is crafting right now. So the letter that Dave gave to us to review through the town administrator was um, just the outline of what he was sending the DOP, D, DEP so they could craft the consent order that we could put in with our application to USDA. Yes. And that really comprised of um, phase 1A, which was to, to deal with the um, temporary bypass of the clarifier, take down the clarifier, rebuild it, um, and then um, get everything back online. And we asked for an extension through, I think the, I think it was the um, February of 2020. So it was gonna give us a year and stay. They were needing us to do it by last, by, by last month and we just didn't have the time to do that. So we, sure. they were very 
accommodating when we went to meet with them, and they also wanted to roll into that consent letter, the I and I report that we had asked for an extension on, but we were already going to have it done by January, uh, by July. So that's also in the letter, which okay. is not an issue because we were dealing with that already. So that's kind of where we're at right now, and uh, he's waiting for DEP to finalize that letter, which should be this week or next imminent days. So they haven't issued that uh, letter at this time, but the uh, application still went out. Yes, it did. Correct. Okay. Great. Yes, yep. the USDA right. application was submitted on um, February 15th, I believe. Okay. And, and then somebody from USDA is already looking at it mm -hmm. uh, because they requested who our um, bond council is today and then the um, dates of our terms and who is serving. So, okay. Good. Yep. You're welcome. I appreciate everyone following up on it because yep. I've been crazed to make sure we got it in there. I know. We'll get it. Okay. We're, we're getting there. Okay. Okay. The next item is to review and sign the special town meeting warrant. Yes, yeah, so this may look familiar to you, this warrant, because you have seen it before for the most part and signed it. Um, I uh, unfortunately missed the publication requirement that's required for the recorder ad and therefore had to reschedule it. I apologize for that. Um, the only difference in the um, article um, this evening is that in the article three, you had originally put a sum of money. Um, we do know that the sum of money we're requesting is tw about 20,000, it's 198. Um, and so I've inserted that in the warrant. So I didn't, I don't, you don't have a copy of that in your, in your binder, you just have the motions, which I also okay. want to go through, but I just wanted to at least get the warrant back Did in front you, of you um, to sign. Did you check with Ty and Bond to see if they can still make the application deadline of <clears throat> so, April 4th if we move the meeting? I did, Carolyn. Thank you for reminding me. So I did. And um, I would actually ask, I, I left the warrant intact because it had already sort of been rescheduled and um, had been prepared. But I did, um, I would like you to consider doing a reserve fund transfer request for that. And I did uh, uh, mention it to Skip as the chair of the Finance Committee uh, today. Uh, they would be open to at least getting the request. Um, in an, and then I, I would suggest you just pass over the article at town meeting. Okay, and the reason why is because they couldn't get it done, right? They were too... Right, because when I talked to Zach today, we, we need to... In fact, I have um, the... You know, he's already submitted the agreement, and we are just sort of waiting to sign that for the funding, but now that extra two weeks would just not allow us to get the grant application done in time. So you might okay. remember this project is to fund basically a hazard mitigation grant application. So if we don't um, get it from the reserve fund and sign basically, you know, to be able to sign the agreement that we have the money, um, waiting until March 11th, we wouldn't be able to do it in time. Thank you for checking because that's what I was worried about. Um, but if we do the reserve transfer by next week, he would have enough time? Yes, okay. absolutely. Yes. So is that on the agenda for the Finance Committee? I'm at, okay. it, ha it hasn't, it isn't at this time, but I would ask them to put it on for Tuesday, but I wanted you guys, I wanted to be sure that was, you know, you were comfortable with doing that, you well, know, asking for I that. mean, that's the whole purpose of the article was to right. get the grant. Yeah, okay. Does, okay. does Zach have a ballpark figure? Because I'm sure that's going to be a question yeah we have it we actually have a proposal so we okay. have a detailed proposal and it, it actually is um, this is um, a an adjunct really to our Mill Village Road culvert replacement project that we're working under our no, municipal no, I don't vulnerability mean preparedness. The, no I, ha I know we have the proposal for the 20,000 oh I'm sorry but I meant the total project amount oh for the grant you mean what we're going to be applying for in the grant right. no because we're not finished with this with this work yet. okay so I don't but I don't have that total. could you ask Zach between now and next Tuesday because I would be a hundred percent sure a hundred and fifty percent sure that the first question uh, out of the Finance Committee would be how much money it was this potentially leveraging okay so gotcha. what I would like to know if Zach can't give us a dollar amount what is the maximum dollar amount of the hazardous mitigation um, grant program? Will do, yes. Okay, so Thank we could can. say potentially we could go up to 450000 or whatever the amount is, or Zach has a ballpark of what we might be doing as a fix in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, potentially. Yes. You know, are, are we you. asking for, in other words, are we asking for a reserve transfer for 20000 to get 50000 that's not 
what we have in mind. Correct. What we have in mind is multiple hundreds of thousands. Correct. So yes. I would like to know what amount. Will do. And I don't know, usually the hazardous mitigation program does have a cap, but it's a fairly high cap. So at least find out what the cap of the application is. Do you have some uh, warrant for us to sign tonight? Yes, okay. I do. Just for everyone watching, that special town meeting is rescheduled for March 11th. So, Kip, also in front of you, you have um, the draft of the motions. Um, yes. And specifically, I wanted to um, have you look at the motion for Article 1 and have some discussion around um, uh, that and how it would be presented at town meeting. Um. Since uh, Trevor, Trevor will be out of town um, the night of the meeting, so um, I want to make sure that, Trevor, you feel comfortable about what we're proposing. Mm -hmm. And there has been some discussion with Skip on this. Um, so do you want to sort of discuss that? Yeah. Um. Do you want me to take a stab at the, the must and may just real quick? Sure. Because I'm not proposing that that's the language that we go to town meeting with. In fact, I don't think that you legally can have an article that says may be. Um, so you have to ascertain if it's going to be with certainty. But the reason that it's been presented this way is because the, the sewer, when the uh, sewer uh, system was created in 1935, I believe in the mm -hmm. early 1930s, um, there was language in that which talked about the funding of that built system, how the system was going to be funded. And what the language said is that the town must pay 25 percent and that the rest of that may be borne by the abutters and the town. Mm -hmm. So the idea was that, and that was to be decided at the meeting. And that's what it said right. in the language. So, so we're trying to, so I think the town officials have um, determined that uh, and discussed that you would like to propose that the language be that the town pays 25 and that the 75% uh, the will be then borne by the abutters or the users of the system. So that's what your article is, the motion that you're going to make um, is going to be. That's what I understand. But, mm -hmm. but when, when council drafted the, the article and sent it to you, they, they used this language because of the sewer articles and how the language in that is, is phrased. Right. So, yep, I get so that. I just wanted to clarify that. Okay. And then I guess there's... Um, I guess there was some discussion whether we were going to put a, a debt exclusion in this motion language or not. And um, uh, well, I want to, we, we need to discuss how we want to do that. Right, how we want to fund our portion and right. then also, um, and I guess the funding, is, I mean, we're asking for the borrowing that night and we can decide, um, we have a couple months to decide how we'd want to pay for that or whether we'd want to put the debt exclusion on the ballot, right? We don't have Did a you couple months. Come up and have, join the so, conversation, Skip, because you have some info on this. Yeah, I don't know that you've got that much You don't time. have a couple months. No, you oh, have 35 okay. days um, legally to warn or notify the town clerk that you're going to ask for something to be on the ballot. Oh, you have 35 okay, gotcha. days. So we don't but, have but of course, she. 
Right, gotcha. and of course she's preparing that ballot, you know, beforehand. Yeah, she'd like to know, so obviously, by the way. you know, the sooner the better. But yes, you have 35 days legally. So, and I, I think part of my dilemma on this is that um, I, f we kind of want to set a precedent going forward for the larger project, which is 11.5, and and <coughs> God willing, the rest of the project going down the road, and we do want to debt exclude the project because um, we, we don't want the whole project to be um, continually on our tax rate. We don't want the rate to go up and stay there forever to pay for this project. Well, it's not a question of going up. It's, it's a, we, we are basically at our cap now. Our 25% uh, cap? No. No, we're right. at our cap as far as uh, we're using the levy limit, the so-called levy limit, the levy ceiling. Yep. That's what it's called. We're using that. That's that uh, tax rate of fifteen dollars and whatever the number. Oh, that's yeah. the levy. Yeah, there's no, there's just nothing left. So, so there's there's capacity. nothing. You know, there, there might be a few cents or a couple of thousand bucks in there, but there's not really any money in there left. Right. So, if our increase in in our budget is let's say two and a half three percent, we will use up anything. whatever addition we're able to. So yep. at that point, if we don't have a debt exclusion, you got to find you're going to have to cut something someplace, right? Uh, in order to pay for this, now you you know the for the larger project or for this the larger project. Yes, the, I agree. The smaller project, we you know, but we have but ca still capital. If we can't get if we can't get a vote, a positive vote on the debt exclusion for the smaller project, you know, you're not going to get it for the large project. I think that's a safe bet. I agree. Uh, my my only thing was of holding it off was borrowing the money a little bit and then holding off make because we have to make plans for the long term and we would know relatively soon hopefully that we get the USDA grant or not if we don't get the USDA grant we've got to do this whole rescheduling of timeline and projects if we get the grant we would be rolling in the million dollars anyway as part of mm -hmm. it. So um, my, my thought was to borrow short term until we find out. I what think you're going to borrow short term anyways. Right. Okay. We're, we not, we're not, this is. So you're, you're or, not suggesting. Or, I mean, we do have, cap, we have capital stabilization that we could pay this 25%. With if if we chose to and not no, go after the. It's not a question cho cho choosing. It's, it only takes a majority vote for debt exclusion. Mm -hmm. It takes a two thirds vote to take a to stabilization. I, so, I get that. And I told that, yeah. I explained that other, to Trevor. Well, I get I, that. No, I get that. But I also, <laughs> I also want to, I mean, we have capital stabilization for a reason and for a project such as this, an emergency project. And, you know, we could, we could make the case for it and, um, and tell the, the taxpayers we will be back, obviously, in the spring for the larger project, and we can take care of this out of capital stabilization in the meantime. But Yeah, well, regular. A regular general, stabil general, stabil general stabilization in the meantime. But, and that's a discussion for everyone to have, and I guess on town floor as well. But, so yeah. I didn't, I just, you know, I, I agree with you. I'd like to, whatever we spend, I would like to have it um, debt excluded, um, except for, you know, I'm up for, uh, my opinion is out for the, the 25 percent on this portion of it, but I, I, I'm willing yeah, to be swayed. I, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I guess. Just, uh, again, it's if we can't, if we, if this is a problem, if we're concerned that the voters are not going to approve it. Right, we'll never get the second. We'll never, phase. yeah. Right, right, because this is mandated, and that's this, why so I meant is, about this. Is a this it is, is, is this and we're going to be throwing, literally done. throwing money down the yeah. river if we don't yeah. get it fixed, because we're going to get you, fined. We're going to pay that much and more in fines if we don't. Right. So this is not really an issue. Yeah. Right. I, I just was afraid that if we made the, too much of a decision early on that we weren't going to get the grant. Oh, we have to, if we, everything is determined on the grant. If we get the grant and a low interest loan, it makes everything affordable. If we don't get the grant and we don't get the low interest loan, then what we have to do is, is we need to come together and have a powwow and figure out what are we going to do. And I just wanted to be, have the ability or the flexibility to have that review process be thoughtful mm -hmm. and not panicky, not, 
whatever, but just have a real thoughtful kind of discussion on how, how is this going to be accomplished now, given this situation. But I'm hoping, I'm still hopeful, if we hustle, that we can get this grant, you know, by if, putting feelers out. If we ask for the debt exclusion, uh, we don't have to use it, right, for this first part. We could ask for the authority and the debt exclusion, and then if we decide to pay I, I, some, a portion of it out of... I don't know that I could answer that, but you'd have to ask the, I guess, the yeah. assessors probably. But. No, I think if you vote a debt exclusion, you are committed to excluding the debt. I just don't know how a debt exclusion works on the short-term debt. That's what I'm Well, I mean, what I'm saying is you could, you could debt exclude it, but you could pay it off with your stabilization, correct? No, sure. It doesn't yeah. preclude you from paying it no? in different ways. I don't well, think. I just well, wondered about the payment no, portion of it. You really well, if you, if you, I think if you created debt, if you borrowed for it, mm -hmm. then you would be, then any debt that you were repaying would have to be through the debt, you know, with the debt exclusion. If you decided to pay off that debt, I think that's a different, you know, it's a different thing. Right. Well, we, one, once it's paid off, the exclusion goes away. Correct. Right. Okay. And that's, uh, the, and I just didn't want us to commit one way or the other long term until we knew of how the impact yeah. Of the USDA, I mean, we don't even know. I mean, we're asking for four and a half million from USDA. They might only give us two million. Right. So whatever. I mean, there's even that combination thrown in, which it's a is lot different. Of an error right. And, and we won't know. And I, I'm assuming. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, we're, we're not. We will need to go back to a town meeting. Uh, for the larger project. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause so because no, no once once we know what we're going to be doing in the next year or so. So that's yes. whether that's next fall, right? Next January or at the annual town meeting in 2020. Theoretically, we have a 13-year plan at the moment. Yes. But that's based on that's very USDA <laughs> thing, and and then this clarifier got thrown in where we had no choice. Mm -hmm. We have to do this. So that's sort of yeah. changing so, the plan already. But I mean, we need. We will have to adjust. So my main question was if we do, uh, I just didn't want to make this borrowing contingent on debt exclusion because if we, if the voters decide no, I mean, we still have to fund it. How would, how would we go about, we've got to fund it one way or the other. So I guess maybe it doesn't really matter either way. Um, well, it matters we, if you make the article contingent and the debt exclusion I, fails, I, I guess you have to revote the article. You'd have to come back and revote. The article. So it does matter how you frame. It doesn't matter if you don't make the article contingent right. and you can still go for a debt exclusion vote. And then if the debt exclusion fails, you still have the million dollars and you're not Which tied Which we plan up. to use from the reserves and whatever, well, whatever however well, we decide to pay the other. We'll have to worry about that. But I guess I'd rather, I'd rather do that. I, I'm not terribly worried on this about you know, if, we, if the town says, yeah, do the job, but you can't exclude the debt, you know, we'll find a way to live with that. But I think at that point in time, That'll give I'm going to put the house up for no sale and think about going someplace else because, There's some you know, major fines coming our way. Yeah, it's, yeah there's going to be something. It would give us so, a good barometer of what's going on for the 11 Yeah. Five so, I, I mean, I, as much as I would like to say, I think absolutely you need to have it contingent on the exclusion. Right. I guess the, for the million dollars, I can live without it. Or okay. 250000 But we'll ask for it, but, it, <coughs> but it's not contingent. So, right. right. So, so then, yes. so then the do. next question <coughs> is, if you would, so in front of you, um, I think I actually have it later on, but part of the discussion about the annual election, Warren, will be if you want to put a question on for that. So we, right. when we get there, or if you yep. want to talk and about that would, now, And that I would, like, I would like us to ask for that. Yes. yes, that makes total sense because yes, we only have this that. window to do it and, and we can always just right. throw it out. And yes. so let me ask you then to follow that so while we're talking about it. So when we put the debt exclusion vote on, we've had a lot of discussion about the project, what the project scope is. And right now we're talking about a sort of sub-project, the, the secondary clarifier yep. project. So when you go to the debt exclusion vote, 
I think you, we've, Skip and I have talked about whether you, the language is for the project. Generally, you vote the project. I agree with Regardless that. of the amount, because mm -hmm. you can't, you don't tie yourself to a specific amount. It's whatever right. the debt is for the well, project. And we don't really have in this 100%. Right, so in this particular case, you know, obviously I think that, that may be what, if, especially if you want to, if you want to gauge what the tenor is going to be in this mm -hmm. debt exclusion, then you do that. You could also, I think, do your project as just doing your secondary clarifier project and just be debt excluding that. So I just want to be clear when you're saying yeah. you're going to ask for the debt exclusion vote that you're all on the same page of what you're actually right. asking I, to be debt excluded at I, this time. And I do feel like in, in May, in May's ballot, I think it would be a good idea to ask for a debt exclusion for the complete project because whatever oh, funding for, we have. Are we going to do that now? But I don't think... Well, I don't think I'd want to put a dollar amount on it because we don't know how much that's well, going to be, but whatever yes, amount but is coming. But you're not, you're, you're excluding the debt that you're borrowing. You've got to tell them what you're going to borrow. How would you know? We would you could put right. it you could put up so to 38 million you could put some kind of we amount can't even oh do that no much. I mean I don't think who in their right mind would vote for that? you well you Not have me. to be I was telling skip you have to be careful we'll have to look into this a little more because I know I had an experience where we tried to do a debt exclusion vote in another community for a project and we put a, an amount in and that was pro a problem I don't remember exactly I'd have to again I'll go back and look into it but you 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 actually are the language in the in the law if you go look at the statute in the debt exclusion section, um, Prop 2 and a half, it, it always says the project. Like, I understand what you're saying. You, not, you need to tell people what the cost of the project is. I'm just saying I'm not sure that it actually goes into the language of your vote. Hmm. That's all I'm, I, I'm I'd, saying. I'd be, I'd, I guess <laughs> we'll I, worry about let, let Let Lisa, you know, address I, that issue with Lisa. Yes. And, and, but for this... March 11th, right. It's the one million dollars that we're we're asking to borrow, and we'd like it debt excluded. Not <clears throat> and we'd like it debt excluded. I don't know how that language gets gets written up because it's you know contingent. it's because it's really it's not a million dollars that we're actually going to be borrowing. Right. Correct. Um, right. Well, that's what I or, think. Well, I think it is, can... but somebody else is going to pay for it. So it's, it's a little strange. It's a, right, you're, you're getting the debt. <coughs> how the fund and I don't out. think we've done anything like this before, mm -hmm. this with, a, with an I, enterprise, with enterprise fund. fund. Correct. Right, that's a good question. You may, there may be something where only debt, we're only debt excluding the portion of the towns, too, so right. we'll have to vet that with council as well. Um, yeah. I just want to make sure that we're not asking for debt exclusion for the whole $38 million because... No. no. No, I don't, I don't or mean whatever. that. I just mean yeah. whatever okay. projects we want to go forward on, we don't want to saddle forever on the town. I just wanted to ask you quickly, you keep mentioning this 11-5. What is that? Is oh, that, that represents, and it's a, a rough figure, but it represents phase one. Was okay. that, was the... The South head, Deer just, Field just, repair. just South Deerfield, and that's the Headworks program, the second so, the, clarifier, so. and then UV and uh, the generator. Yep. So that was just that South Deerfield plan. Um, the other thing I was just going to ask is um, it wasn't clear to me in the discussions if um, we could keep up those temporary clarifying tanks so that we could fix the second clarifier relatively fast. Um, so, so what, no, I the, mean, there might be some savings the idea is the mm -hmm. secondary clarifiers go up, then you have um, and the, the the temporary ones go up. You fix that system, then, um, then that comes online. And and I think when they do that, I think they're going to start laying the groundwork for phase one because there's some piping and stuff that goes into that. Um, but no, I think once that's up and running, we, we won't, don't need the we temporary, won't need the temporary. To fix the second one. Correct. Okay. Correct. I, I wasn't clear. At least as far as I'm aware. Okay. I, that, well, I, wasn't, I, I wasn't clear about that, and I wanted to make sure that we weren't, you know, taking away the tanks and then have, and then to, have to get them back, back again. So the, the second other, part. You know, while we're kind of on this subject of the sewer, I was wondering if I could just talk about um, the sewer study committee um, that I've had, you know, a, a few conversations real quick. Can we just finish? The, oh, sure. Just I'm make sorry. sure we're yep, finished yep, with yep, this before yep, we absolutely. head out to the... Okay, I'm sorry. So, nope, no so we are going to... Um, we're not going to make the motion contingent. 
Correct. You you do agree that the language will be the town must pay 25 and that with 75% to be borne by the abutters of the wastewater enterprise system? Correct. Um, Is that the right language? I think so. I'll have that vetted. But yes, yeah. I think I, that's I, what she just, basically said if we wanted to, to when, lock, when we lock it in. Okay. Um, and also, you're not making it not making it a contingent on debt exclusion. But on the annual town election, we are going to put a debt exclusion vote, and it's going to be for the project as it is now, this mm -hmm. phase one project for the million dollars. No, it's not phase, no, phase one. one. It's it's or not phase, phase one, one, but we'll have the project <coughs> yeah. we're calling a secondary clarifier project or right. whatever. We'll have a name, but it will be the that clarifier project. repair. Yeah. And that one. Okay, thank I you. I think if we maintain it as a clarifier repair, yeah. it's mandated by DEP. Yeah, we we've yeah. named it already. I've seen it named. So okay. I yeah. think I named it. That in will report, keep it so. yep. from being yeah. mis misconstrued okay. as part of the secondary the second. yes. right. clarifier. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, we might. It's, I might have a little more on the election warrant, but I just wanted okay. to clarify that. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, the, so the only thing I wanted study. to discuss was um, as we're getting closer to um, having some real stuff to look at. Uh, this has all been. I, it's been very frustrating for the sewer study committee, and I've I've got several email about it, um, and I've talked with Bruce many times about this. But I, um, we have decided, like you know. Sewer study took it as far as they were going to take it for a bit of time. We kind of took over that process a little bit and um, with, a, with a smaller working group kind of pushed it forward to where we're at right now. And I think, um, and, and the sewer study committee is thinking, you know, they, they feel floundering, like what are we doing? Are we even a committee? Are we even going to go forward? And, you know, there's been discussion back and forth about what, you know, are they even going to continue? I do see a, a valuable um, tasks for them in the future to, to be able to um, review, you know, the, the, the work that we get from Dave Prickett. Uh, I don't have the expertise. I know there are several engineers on that sewer, sewer study committee and other people that are good at digging through this stuff like Bruce and, you know, I don't know if Bruce Hunter would still want to look at stuff, but there are, there are talented people that would look through this. And I think there's um, an avenue and a task for them to continue with that work once we can once we know what we have and what we're working on, that we could write a charge, a, a, a refresh charge for that committee on a, on a per, per project task. You know, like, well, we, here we are with this, this first it. phase one. Once we get that, look over that. Are, are we missing something? Are we spending too much? Are we, you know, what are we doing? Are we looking forward on, enough? You know, and, and people might be able to look at that. Not that we're going to change the whole process, and we're moving forward with the plan that we have of the 13 years, but um, during that time, there's going to be a lot of things for them to look over, and right. when we get solid nuts and bolts things to decide. And I'm right. just wondering what your guys' feeling is on that. Well, I, first of all, I, I'd like to ask, did uh, Dave Prickett ever supply us with his report? Yeah. I have a I have a draft I think I have the application um, and I asked him again for a copy of what well, I don't have anything finalized from him yet I think I think that I think that we missed a, a very important opportunity here by not keeping that sewer study committee active with the the persons on that board because they had um, a wealth of experience probably far exceeding the people that were paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to do this. And their only interest was to do what was best for the town. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we've, we're now in the beginning of paying for a second study, because uh, we couldn't use the first one three years ago, and we still were going to the people looking to borrow which I believe is a, a very fair amount, this first million dollars, but 11 million and more going forward, and we still don't have a report as to what we're doing. Yeah, well, I, and, and that's, I, I feel like I agree with you, and I think we're right there where, where we have um, pushed this as far as we can, and I think until we pay for the design plan, uh, once we have that design plan, and I think now's the time to kind of pull them back in and say, okay, here, Here's where we're at. Uh, we'd love you to start looking over this stuff when we, 
when I get something that I can put forward, I haven't had anything to give them. I mean, so I don't know right. what else. And, and, I, and I get that, and, and, I, and I understand that. And I, I guess where I get frustrated is because, you know, when it comes to the sewer stuff, the three of us don't have all the qualifications. Correct. But we've, we've had, I'm gonna call them leads, saying you need to push these people. You know, we're, we're paying them $80,000 for this roadmap and we don't have any documentation. When they were here, he had one. He said, well, it's a draft. Well, I'll get it to you. That was two months ago. And we're still. Well, to be fair, we, well, we were pushing the USDA grant. And, and also, yeah, I, to be fair, well, he can, had to deal with. We can pressure him. We can, I, we I can ask. He, right. So, yes, but the DEP, what the DEP letter and our, you know, and the letter, regulation letter F uh, order, does impact his final report, as is the USDA grant one way or the other. So I want the final report, just as you do, but I also want a final report that really is the correct, moves from the draft to the current conditions. That's my, my well, frustration is this stuff is moving, well, and we expect him to give us but, a more but, accurate but answer, but what or it is, I want is, an accurate answer. What's wrong with the plant is what's wrong with the plant. And that when these engineers went there, they did their investigation, they came up with all of the, they identified all of the yeah. problems, all of the repairs and everything like that. That report is our roadmap. Yeah, Kip has and, a point on that. If, oh, no, if, I agree with if that. And yeah. if they're shucking their responsibility, now, I, I do understand that they put in time for this grant application, and, and I get that. But still, you know, there was a timeline for them to give the town this roadmap. So when... I would not be surprised to hear the audience say, wait a minute, you know, this is a lot of money that we're spending. Mm -hmm. We don't even have a final report. How do we know where this is leading? Right. You know? But we also haven't paid the final bill. Uh, I get that. Well, no, I mean, think, I think both have but a point. I, I think, I, you know, I think we we're really close. Him, yeah, yeah I, I think it's close, too. And, but and I'll, I've I, asked for it today. Yeah. Um, and, um, and, you know, he's been very and responsive, so I'll, not, see, I'll see where we're at, and I'll yeah. get an answer by our next meeting for but sure, I think, I if think, I have anything sooner. To me, I, I think what, what I see missing here, and I always keep going to the real world and the municipal world, is that, you know, we're, the town is understaffed, mm -hmm. and that a lot of things get let go. If, if this was my project, I would have called him three months ago and said, hey, Dave, where is it? If he said, well, Thursday, I'd call him Friday if I didn't get Hey, it's Friday. You said it was going to happen Thursday. What's the problem with this? And Monday, I'd say, wait a minute, buddy. You know, you promised us this and that we, you know, but that doesn't happen here. And everybody's just kind of like, well, you know, we'll get it and we'll get it. And meanwhile, time comes on and it costs us money. And I think it's time that, you know, and that's why I say we missed an opportunity by not giving that more, I don't know if it's more authority, but just saying to the sewer site committee, you know, because a lot of those guys are retired, you know, get after them. You know, make sure we get all of this stuff so we can have an educated uh, answer to our, you know, constituents. Right. Well, I agree. That I probably haven't shared as much as I've talked with him, which has been almost every couple of days. So I, I you know, there is, there's a lot of moving parts and you're right. I mean, is. it does need to be put forward <coughs> in his time. And I think we're really close to that right now. So I hear what you're saying and I'll, I'll respond to okay. as soon as I can. Okay, cool. Yep. So Diana, are we set with this? I think so. Yep. Okay. So if I can, okay, uh, for the town meeting, special town meeting, uh, there's going to be relatively little discussion about the, the larger projects, I assume. Right. I hope so, yeah. Because some, but I'm, I'm, some, but, I'm yeah. personally am not ready to commit until I know that we have a grant of some sort or not. Yeah, no I mean, we, we need to know if we get the USDA grant and a low, low interest loan and how much. And that sort of would dedicate to me, um, or dictate to me, I mean, what, what our path would be moving forward. And I would want Dave so, to so sit down with us. So let me ask you, what, what, is your, what are the plans at this point for the annual town meeting? I, I'm assuming that we're going to be asking for, what was that first little piece? Whether it's 100,000 or? 9.5 is, I think, what the I don't know what the number was. I don't have it here. But yeah. we're going we're gonna to need that money in FY20. Right. Okay. I don't know because, <coughs> I mean, I, I'm not ready to commit to the 
to that until I Here, know, here's I know what we We're going to need something. We need some part. We need something so that we can come back. But we have to, we have to, whether we get the grant of some sort or not, it would impact the, the rates going forward. And, and before I would commit to a, this, a, a larger number, I would want to know what the impact would be on the sewer users. You know, does this make sense? Does, I mean, because it also falls we, back on the town as well. We can answer that question now. And I, I'm, I'm, you know, regardless of whether we get the grant or not, we need a headworks program, and we need, we need. And, and I mean, that's it, true. I mean, it's true. just stuff but, we cannot. But I feel like we have to I agree. sit down. That's what we're trying. Yeah, I need. But before I could make a decision and tell Skip how I feel on this, I feel like we have to have that discussion all mm -hmm. over again. But I, but I think we need to do something at the annual town meeting. Agreed. To go I, forward. Yes. yes. And uh, whether that's a commitment from the town to spend $100,000, which it were, if that's the number, I've, I've really forgotten what that number is. Maybe it was a million dollars. I don't remember. To do the drawings for the phase for the one. First, for first the fa yeah. first phase, right. but yes. I, I, I keep going back to this. That's why this report is so important because right. we, we need, I I this is I the roadmap. Agree. We need to know, are we going to buy a whole new car or are we going to buy new mm -hmm. tires and have the motor rebuilt? You know, that I don't see that this is becoming a choice for the town to pick, you know, from, you know, best, better, or worse, you know, something like that. Yep, I'm in the exact same boat. So, okay, I agree you know, with you. And, I agree. and, I, and I we don't have much my, time. My feeling is that we need that $100,000 or, or yeah. whatever in order to, to That's get what that I'm process to say. Exactly. Going. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. not ready. Exactly. But at a town meeting, this is going to be a big issue. Right. And here I we know. are in the middle of February, and we don't have anything to start know, looking at. So. I but I, I mean, I feel like we could have a fairly, we have good intent, yeah. and we have been trying to keep current on this. So if we had a, a, an hour or two to discuss this, I feel like we'd still be, we'd end up on the same page, and we'd all feel comfortable, yeah. and we could make an argument to town meeting. Right. It's just that, we'll make that it's just I, that you asking that. us right now, I'm, I'm not ready to make that. And we don't have okay. that. And as Kip said, we don't have the current but information. But that's why I wanted to bring up the Sewer Study Committee because, it, you know, it's timely that the emails came, but it's all, like, right now, and that's why I wanted to be able to talk about yeah. as soon as I get that in my hands, I can I give a task to them to go yeah. pour through? Well, sure. uh, right. Is this good? Is this not good? Where are we and that's, this and is that's exactly it. Grand paid we need for this, and, this is what we need because everybody sees, reads it, and you pick up something else, something that's different from somebody else's because that. of your experience and background. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's critical, just like the three of us, we'd sit down and we talk about it, and we have different backgrounds, but we have different ability to read the stuff and get something different of it and discuss it. And that's yep. the whole idea of the sewer committee. Good. And I and I feel like if we can get that report, it will make a huge I know. Yep. impact. Okay. All right. Good. Next Good. thing is okay. a job description and posting for the building commissioner. So before you move on to that, uh, we've got a finance committee next meeting next Tuesday. And uh, it would be nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, the subject is going to come up, so it would be nice if someone from, from the Board of Selectmen I will be there. would be there I will for be there. all of you so that we can yell at all of you. So. Yes, you can well, yell we're gonna, at all of And us. also, I don't know if Skip, if you wanted to, um, I don't know if Skip wanted to stay for your discussion about the Select Board Planning Inspection Budget items. No, but there um, are a couple of other ones that I talked with you about that yeah. I'd like to bring up tonight just so that. Okay. These so, are things that the finance committee. Uh, yeah. So, would you mind going, um, Kip, moving ahead on to under new business, where we're just talking about the um, uh, the recommendations for the select board planning inspection budget? It's basically budget items, but Kip has, uh, sure. excuse me, Skip has a few other budget sure. questions and items. That That's fine with me. Okay. Yep. So, so I have um, you have in front of you. I think it's somewhere new budgets. I hope, or maybe I still have them, but um, which are just being proposed. Um, oh, did I take all of them? I don't know. There was a little, no, I think. Well, hang on. Mine is saved. Yeah, I've got four to help. Okay. 
staff. I, I have oh, minor okay. updated 128. So I'm giving you a new, you're getting a new Tilton Library, you're getting an inspection department view old, or the house salary. I have one. You got Tilton Library, inspections. Nope, there's an inspection. I got inspections in Tilton Library. Inspections. There's an inspection. I've got Board of Health salary. I don't have salary. Another Board of Health salary. No, so it's really three of them? Okay, okay good. Yep. And then yep. I have a couple more. I just, I'm not going to give you copies, but I want to just copy. That's my stuff. Okay, so. All right. Uh, let's start with the um, the select board. Did I give you. I don't think I actually gave you that, but um, just so you know, you haven't discussed the select board salary budget at all. But I'm not. Um, I haven't requested any changes to that. So uh, what had been submitted um, is what we were um, proposing. We can't do like the state and give us an eighty thousand dollar raise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, you can ask for anything, I suppose. But um, so, but moving on to the planning inspection budgets, um, one of the things that we have been doing in our office um, is working on a lot of plan use, land use uh, issues. Excuse me, land use issues. Um, you know, for a minute we had an assistant town administrator that had picked up a lot of those, a lot of those things, and it was working really well. So. Um, it, in the near term, I want to replace that position or a position in the administrator office that can work on planning issues. Um, but looking into 2020 budget, um, I want to add some, or I'm recommending that you add some, uh, consider adding some administrative support to your land use inspections section. So specifically in your Board of Health salary budget, um, the when you talk about your building commissioner tonight, we're going to propose hiring a full-time building commissioner. Um, and then your commissioner now would be your uh, health agent, is currently your health agent, but would be able to focus um, the half-time work at the health agent level. Right. Um, and But that person would need some kind of administrative support. So I am proposing that um, the health agent would actually have some administrative support. Right now, the health agent, the, uh, the building commissioner, the inspections department is sharing a half-time administrative person. Not only are, they, are the inspections staff sharing that person, that person is also doing uh, conservation commission and planning administration. Um, we had Pat Smith here from the Council on Government, uh, the Regional Council of Governments, that was supporting the planning board, but she, she since retired. So um, we have found ourselves in a real uh, challenge with the administrative aspects of this, of all of the land use permitting uh, that's being requested at this time. So. Um, what I would propose by breaking out that half-time position in Board of Health, um, leaving, uh, I don't, I, I haven't, you know, I, I, I'm not talking to you about the arrangement of the current staff at this time, just the proposal of the positions for next year. So in the inspections department payroll, I've left everything alone, but I have asked Brenda to just add a line called additional admin support um, in around the same amount of money and be so so basically I'm I'm proposing that you consider having a full-time position um, but the re the way it's reflected now is it's in two separate lines well I, I think that we could we really should fund a full-time position and it could be shared uh, I would not eliminate the part-time one that we <coughs> currently have um, because you know, I, I see it not only here, but on the planning board. There's so many things that just does not get completed. Yes. Um, and it's a disservice to our community, too, because there's been a lot of things that have been held up because things don't get done when they're supposed to. Right. Um, and it's frustrating. I, I, you know, I go into the building inspector's office frequently in the morning, and people come in all the time, and they're asking all these questions. And, you know, the building inspector or health agent has to you know, cut him off because he has an inspection to go to or he's got to check out the dining hall somewhere, you know, and these people leave kind of, you know, like, well, you know, I'll call me back later and stuff like that. <coughs> and I, I know that it's an expense to the town, but 
Darn, it's it so saves us in the long run. I kind of think oh, it does. I think it, we're functioning right now. Right. I think no. it will save you. I think that, um, you know, we are, with all of these permitting applications, especially solar and marijuana, they're very complex. You're doing them often for the first time. Um, and, and, and that's just currently, but even in, in your recent past, um, just all of the things that have come before planning and zoning, um, your administrative capacity has really been stretched. Yeah. Well, and, um, and I, one thing that I'd like to say is that the, uh, the large solar field that we did off of River Road, um, you know, it generate, it, that generates $63,000 a year for the town for the next 20 years. I mean, that, you know, that, that pays for, you know, that person's salary. And I know that the town can use the money everywhere, but we always are looking for money. It's, the, you know, there are other people who have come in looking to do things um, and so we've lost opportunities. We've lost opportunities, and, yes. I, and I know of a couple other businesses that are now going to Hatfield because you know things just seem to take too long here. You know, mm -hmm. and I, I, agree, I just 100%. hate to see that. And yep. I think Deerfield is a very, in my opinion, has a very unique position that you know we've we don't have a lot of areas to develop. Right. So when we have an opportunity to get something some quality business or development, we need to get a hold of it, you know? Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yes, I agree. I think by doing this, we'd position ourselves to be more proactive instead of reactive. And it's not just developing new areas, it's redeveloping things that right. exist, too. People really want to know how we can do this. It's like, it's, it's tough, you know? So right. much to be done. There, yeah. There's a lot to be done, and that's what I liked with Connor, because I, I worked yeah. with him briefly, and he was putting together a package, so if somebody comes in, Say they want to open a new restaurant in, a, in an existing building. You're like, what do I need to do? Where do I go? He, yeah. Here, this is this is your roadmap. This is what you need to do. Yes. Otherwise, you know, they will say to Dick, well, what do you know? Dick will give them the building thing or the board of health. But there might be some ZBA stuff in there. And, you know, and Dick is probably the only one that's qualified that knows all of the little aspects. If they're not lucky enough to get come when Dick's here, then they're going to get one answer from this office, maybe something a little different from that office, and. Right. No. Right. Exactly. That's one of the things, too. I think we really need to centralize it because we do have a lot of people um, giving input sometimes exactly. on, on the permit application process. So. And that creates even more problems because when that, say, an applicant comes in and they get some information and then they relay well, I was told this. That's well, right. no, it's wrong. That's well, right. what do I need to do? Well, you got to do this. Then That's they come right. to a board. Well, this person told me to do this. It's like, it's wrong once again. So. No. It's very frustrating. It's very frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so, so I'm in, fa I'm in favor of, of how you've got it structured. Um, I know you've got them split up here and there, and it, it puts the money in so we can decide whether it's a full-time person right. split or if it's two part-time or whatever it needs to be. But we definitely need. I, I definitely want to see the selectman's office fully staffed, and and then some staffing in that department because that's really where I've noticed that we needed the help. Excellent. The most. There's Thank so you. much going on. And so I make a motion that we um, approve what Diana has presented. Um, and Dick, by the way, um, I was here earlier this afternoon with Dick, and um, we went over this, and he's supportive of this, the way it's structured. Do you have any thoughts on it, Skip? Well, <clears throat> just a couple. One, the, the standard question that I always ask, where's the money coming from? And number two, you guys put out a memo to the town last October saying your budgets need to be in by December 1st or whatever. And, and we did, we went through this last year too. And, and somewhere along the way, uh, if you're telling department heads that they need to get their budgets in by a specific date, that applies to your office as well, yep. I think. So Agreed. it's not there. Agreed. No, agree. Basically, I, I, basically, this is so I guess if I were the senior, you know, if, if, if I were the, the ruler of the town, my response to you was, you missed your opportunity. Mm -hmm. Do it next year. Yeah. And, and, and I understand your position, yeah. but it's kind of like, well, you've got to get the damn thing the, done when it's supposed to be done. I agree, but the transition and the turmoil <clears throat> has been affecting these offices for the last, you know, at least three months or so, it, it's just, been, how do you get anything done? So um, I agree, I, that's the goal. And I think still putting out that goal every year is, is what we need to have happen. But reality rears its ugly head and, and it's been- But also, Diana, I didn't I see I guess what I'm saying, this, this 
This is not something new. This did just not pop up in January. This was a this was known a known here, quantity. It's right. been a known quantity since I became select board. And and now, so did, why didn't your budget reflect it? That's all I'm asking. You get keep, the damn budget to reflect it. You, Skip, you can yell at us. It's okay. Or, I, you, but you can you yell. Under, at you understand what I'm saying. That's I know. Well, I was prepared to go you. last night, and I was here last night. But at the last moment, after speaking with Dick, who was waiting with me to speak to you, we decided to change it. And no, so that's, it's a hundred percent. I, I will take, Diana went in and took the blame, but it was 100% me. Okay. okay. But Diana, th this does not reflect the selectman's office. Though. Correct. Because you, you still a, have correct. fund or salary amount. Yes, of yes. So you, have a, you have another budget that has that, and it just only has three positions still. It does have the administrator, the executive, or whatever you want to call it, executive assistant, right. whatever, and then it has the administrator. So really the only change between these two is roughly the admin support that you put under the Board of Health. Yeah, well, there are two additional admin support components. There's one in the Board of Health and one in the Building Commissioner Office, so well, yes. But that one has existed all along. It has, but it was only a half-time position, and I'm asking for it to be Well, it still here to, shows as a half-time yes, position. Right, but then add, I've added add another, another amount underneath it that basically would show it as right being. Here. Right here, if you look, this is, this is basically Priscilla. That's the yep. addition right there. Right. Yeah. So, and again, that that is that's so the you're ideal. you adding one um, person, you more. know, scenario that yes, I but. feel. Well, to, to, to answer Skip's question, that with the other admin person, if we get another solar field, then the money would come from there. Yeah. Actually, if we get another. Actually, I think well. to really legitimately, what we would, there's a couple things we would do. I don't know if you've done this recently, but I always recommend that you look. You would look at your, you know, board of health fees. We would look at our planning board fees. I know from working with Pat Smith over the last couple of months that she was here, there's been a lot of confusion about applying the building inspection fees. So it's possible that we just haven't even been applying those, you know, to get the amounts that we should be getting. So. We we just want to revisit all of that, and if we have good administrative support, we should be consistent on collecting those fees, and you know, so that might well, help. Well, you can adjust the fees, too. and we can adjust them. And I think also we can. I want to figure out how to take advantage of some of the money that's coming into the planning board um, revolving fund that was used to pay the consultant. Um, if you're going to use revolving fund money to pay salaries, you also have to pay fringe out of it, and I don't think the, the revolving fund can support that. Right. But if there was a willingness to put that money into the general fund, then that could offset your planner as well. And that's basically what you were using that to fund right. a planner. You just were funding I it think, in a consultant. I think um, I'm not sure how uh, fiscally we would handle it, but I think the idea of putting in the money into the revolving fund was to keep, to make sure that we weren't using general taxpayer money to fund the plan anything to do with the planning board. It had to be funded by the applicants. But what we could do is have an annual transfer so that you could still keep it separate and have some kind of annual transfer to the general fund so you're constantly having the excess yes. being right. bled off. Yeah. And that way there's no confusion that it is 100% funded by the applicants. Oh, yeah. right. But at the same time, you're not depriving the general fund of, of long-term well, support. Well, the we, we have to figure it out right. somehow. Well, the revolving fund right now isn't covering the, the things that are paid by the applicants or the peer review costs, and those are kept separately. The revolving fund is, is only your planning board receipts, is only your revenue that's right. from the planning board. But it's not your peer review monies. It's just right. your but it, you revenues were, from planning right. but, but that we're, was, from, those from fees were designed fees. not to make sure that it was not being um, paid for by general taxpayers. Yes. So right. what you could do is figure out some way to annually take that out at the end of the year, and, the, and that the, way. This year alone, sure. the, the planning board's collected over $12,000 for land disturbance fees, and it's just sitting there. We don't that's use right. it. That's what, that's the and that's the, the whole purpose. Like we can move it. We can figure out some mechanism to move right. it. Right. We can ask Lisa how to set it up mm -hmm. so that the money is offsetting our expenses as taxpayers, right. but it still shows that the, it, in fact, is not costing taxpayers, Correct. and that was why it was set up. Uh -huh. So Absolutely. we can figure out something, okay. I'm sure. Last year, this time, maybe a little before, there was some discussion about a so-called planner position. Yeah. And 
I never could get, uh, I guess the, the argument that I made on that one was, you, if you can tell me that this is a person who's going to spend 100% or thereabout of their time doing economic development, then I think it's worth looking at. Uh, maybe we try it for a couple of years, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well. I think it was a good idea. I really. But You're the right. problem, the problem be, was, how much time? Everywhere. No, it's going to be doing this, working with the planning board, working Plus with the, the inspections, and it's like, how much economic development are we doing? But right. that's an important key, is that you have a person that's knowledgeable in this field, and they do work with the different boards. Because well, I mean, it's not a question of working with it. It's, you know, it. I want to see their job, you know. Well, principally economic, well, going out and working with our business and industries. Right, but here's an example of what happened a short time ago uh, when Connor was here. There was a planning board meeting and there were some people who want to put in a, a solar array up in East Deerfield. And um, <coughs> there was a deadline that was coming from the state <coughs> and that we had to have a special meeting. Well, Connor left our meeting, went in, typed everything all up, got it posted so it was going to be in the paper so we could come back and have the meeting promptly and everything went through. Now, that because we had Connor at that time, it helped this go through. The town, I don't think that we've actually signed the agreement yet. But they're it, still working on it. It's, it's going to be about another $40,000 a year to the town. That would not have happened if Connor wasn't here at that time, mm -hmm. because we didn't have two or three days to get done. No, I, and it's that kind of thing that I see frequently that we miss. So it's not just going out and searching for somebody, it's getting everything prepared so when, when somebody comes to you, say, look, at Deerfield is a good place to come. We can do this and this. This is how we can help you out. This is what our community is looking for, you know. And, and I can say that that's absolutely true, you know, for the t 21 years that I was on the planning board, there were plenty of opportunities that if you had somebody right there, you could solve the issue and you move right. things around, you'd save a meeting or two, which in planning board time was a month or two. Yeah. And that makes huge impact on your developers or people that are, you know, coming forward to try to do something. Yeah. And, I mean, it, and I certainly if it's attractive, you want to try to make it happen. Sure. So we're hoping that this support might facilitate that, right? Yes, okay. yes. And I mean, I think what, what's, so for the next agenda, um, I, I'd like to put on there to have the discussion about the staff person that you're referring to right now, this planning, assistant, executive assistant, it's been all those things. Right. But I want to I want to come to a consensus on what you want to okay. do moving forward, because we have funding for that. So let's get that hired. We need it. I hear, I think you're absolutely right. And I, I think what Skip's saying is true, but I look at this person as a necessity for economic development. I think they will yeah. be doing, you know, not just that, they'll be doing a lot of community development, but that's part of your economic development. That's going to bring the kind of businesses that you want to come to your community to your community when they see that you're that you're user friendly and that you're efficient. and that you're efficient and that you have a strong community that's been built around shared visioning and shared planning and things like that. I so I think it's a great investment and I think it's really little money, you know, for that kind of investment. Yes. Makes sense. Thank yes. you. Okay. Uh, so I just want to stay on. Okay. Oh. Motion. Are we vote? I'll Did second we that motion. Oh, All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Um, okay, just staying on the budget for one more minute. Um, so you have a new Tilton Library budget. Um, I think the only thing that got firmed up maybe was the Dickinson Trust. That's yes. what's actually changed. Um, but at the Finance Committee meeting last night, it was discussed that. There were going to be increases in um, hours for staff, including the director and um, I don't know if it's the children's director yes, or the, I and the, that's what yeah, it and the children's too. director. So I just, um, you know, obviously I believe the library trustees have voted it and support that. Um, I just. You know, I wanted the board just to be aware that um, you know that I it's think an it's operational. It's only a slight, thing, so. a slight change in number of hours, so I think um, I, w I would be in favor of that. Does Skip, do you have? A, the, does finance committee have a problem, or did you the, have a problem? The finance with committee's concern was that, <clears throat> or the, what what I heard expressed was that 
you know, we had sent, I'd say we, uh, the town had sent out a level, level, service. level ser request for level services, and this wasn't level services. The problem that we've got in a lot of ways is we don't really have any method by which, you know, a department can come to, it's actually you, I assume, Board of Selectmen, say, hey, look, we would like to add this position, or we would like to change the position. You're doing it tonight with the... Correct. Classic. So Correct. that, and that that needs to be done before the budget's put together, and, and because I don't, I don't want to take the responsibility for, for reviewing a budget that says... You know, we're, we're adding something to it if that's not something well, that you've approved. Except right. we did, you know, we did say to the department heads, they just need to justify what beyond level. F I mean, we're not just going to rubber stamp. They had to come in and make a case for it. And, and I give the example of Kevin deciding to, we're going to hire, you know, lawn mowing, uh, you know, part-time people to lawn do the lawns at the cemeteries so that it would free up and other real places. highway people to do, yeah. you know, ditches or whatever. You know, I mean, the anticipation was Yeah, and that's, that's another one. Out. But, so this was, <coughs> we voted, we voted four in favor, two to abstain, and because I think the, the abstentions were because of the concern about whether or not this is something that, vi did this violate the, the well, they felt like they wanted to see a yeah. process going forward, and I think the library was was open to that process going forward, that if they did make a change, and maybe it's a direction that we really need to send out from our office that... Yeah, I can talk to Candace about it, too. Well, yeah. but you can do it for the next year. If, if yes. you're not, the idea yeah, is if you're going to change, change okay. your... Going to reorganize right. your department. You just Let's have to get talk, it. yeah. you got to talk to kind of whomever, just, whether, you know, yeah. and get a, it approved. A justification. Just because we are so tight. Yeah, because, I mean, we're, we're finance committee is making a recommendation. We're right. not, you know, I, we, we, I know. Always, we always say we approve this budget, but we not, we recommend this budget. Right. And that recommendation, I mean, part goes to you, but it really goes to the town. Correct. Uh, so you're, you're all set with that. And there was that, the change that was made, the 1414 yep. number that was in there. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone know, I mean, here it says for the library and budget, there's building grounds maintenance. Doesn't the town plow their yard and mow the lawn? Well, well that's... Uh, that came up last night, too, and that's... I have a huge, so I'm really kind of concerned because this, I'm struggling with this with this senior center budget. Is the lawn mowing, the cleaning, the um, snow plowing is a huge part of the budget. It's like $4,000, if not more. And, you know, we're paying Sokolowski to mow the lawn, and there's hardly any lawn. We're paying, um, I don't know who we're paying to plow and snow, you know, shovel, and the seniors have to shovel again. And so we have to have a direction to our highway department on what they need to do and what, what we're paying. You know, we really shouldn't talk about snow and maintenance. Yeah. I, I mean, Kevin. I'm glad to have that conversation with Kevin, but I mean, I, I personally have seen our trucks plowing over there in here. Yeah. I think they do so, plow out, but they don't right. shovel the walkways, right. as right. I understand it. And I don't know, if I don't know who shovels the walkways here. I think they almost just scoop it with a plow. Yeah, they well, use, I don't think they shovel. They use a small piece of machinery and they plow. They don't, they don't do don't any hand They don't do the, the, con, you know, the sidewalks on the common and there's, you know, not to say do they, they, they have do the to, sidewalks in front of the building? Or should we find the town for not doing the sidewalk? I think the they plow it. I yeah, believe I think they just scoop the plow scoop right across right, there because so. that's why the, you know, they, yeah. they raised up the pavement pretty and high I, I think I can I think I can say that the finance committee was a little concerned about that. We we looked at it. We talked about it briefly, but yeah. the yeah. thought was, look, someplace along the way, the town ought to be doing that work. Right. It wasn't that we necessarily thought that the highway department in its existing structure should do it, right. but we, look at how we, we right. need to look yes. at that in the future. And I think we need to take it over, take the town needs to take that response. How you do that, I don't know. I know, I agree yeah, with You that. would have to look at the public works infrastructure. I, well, I'm actually pretty, you know, I would be 
um, just on Kevin's behalf, very concerned about changing anything right now because I do feel he's he's fairly, um, you know, straight out. We ask him to be doing all of the buildings now, the facilities, um, and as you said, it's not he doesn't do all of the. I know there are some buildings that we ha we contract out, but they do do some of the public spaces. Um, so I think it's great if we have them yeah, we in have and have a discussion what, yeah, about why we're here and how, how it's all working, forward. and then Absolutely see what we no. can do. That would be excellent. Yeah, I mean, you've, no, kept, you've uh, got somebody that comes in here and maintains this building. We right. don't ask the highway department or the, to maintain it. So right. I guess to that extent, all the other buildings are, should fall under right. that. Uh, right. You mean the cleaning? Well, well yeah. we have. Well, we do. And then we have right. somebody clean the senior center as well, right. same person. But yeah. right. it's a large right. bill. Ke well, Kevin, I and I, yeah. Kevin and I have discussed exactly these things. We've discussed the, the, the buildings. Um, the 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 snow cleanup that you're talking about around the buildings, the custodial piece, and if it if it should be all sort of brought into a section of public works Facilities. and looking at that as part of you know what that would take to, to do that and, and the school and, struggle you know the same right and question. maybe we can you know yeah there's there's things we it's can look at but it it's, management. Yes. yes, there you go. Exactly. And you know anybody exactly. that uh, But more than facilities, even <laughs> even public spaces, common spaces, I think we often forget, like the plowing and the shoveling and the, you know, the, the landscaping, the, those kinds of things, too, that all it's have to be done. custodial. So. Somebody want to take on an extra so. job and get closer to home? <laughs> all right, so we'll schedule a public works operational discussion. Great. Thank you. Okay. So. All right, can I and throw, then um, can I throw out a couple other ones here. Well, did you yeah. want? Are you going to say the one, the other ones, the swim and the? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. We we uh, looked at the swim program and we looked at the uh, what's their budget numbers on those things? Uh, um, swim. Swim is um, six thousand three hundred and ten. Sixty three ten. Okay. And, and Tritown uh, Beach is uh, seventeen three twenty one. Yeah. Yeah, there's a the swim program. Seventeen. So. No, no, no. What's the okay oh, summer? Oh, I'm sorry, six thirty. Summer swim program, Tri Town Beach. Yep, six thirty. The, uh, the vote that we took last night on the swim program was one in favor. I voted in favor, just because I had trouble voting the post. Five opposed, and no one was opposed to the swim program. We're opposed to the the facility. So wait a second, Rebecca. Is so you voted the swim summer swim program? The we 60s. we voted against the summer swim program. Okay. It wasn't because it was a swim program. It's the location, and we don't think that that's any place that we wanted our kids or the town's kids to be brought to. And it, it's not, it's not clean. Basically, that's the concern. I understand. I understand the water has been. It, it's you've got. I don't know how many geese you've got down there, but it's a, a wintering over spot for the, for geese, and there's always geese down there. It has been for. A number of years, and they do test it, and they say that the water is safe. I I, I, do I have know doubts, but you know, and we don't. Um, my grandkids don't go down there anymore. So, did, what did you do about the Tri Town Beach? Same. the The difference there was one in favor, four opposed, one abstention. Okay. So we're. You're really serious about looking at that? Yeah, I th yeah, it's not. I don't think it, I don't frankly think it's worth the money. Yeah. So I, 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 I thought we I, could give people 50 bucks to join the Y. Is it cheaper? <laughs> I understand that the summer swim program, um, they haven't been able to, in addition to the location, they don't have a person to actually do the program. It's a six week program. Last year they were unable that to find somebody to do it. So there a, wasn't one. A certified yeah. instructor, and we don't have that person again lined up so, for 2020. So that's a problem. I don't know anything about the Tri Town Beach. Um, I expect it looks like it's a shared. Um, at least it, with one it's, town. It's basically so. the same in, in so far as the location. It's the same location. Right, right. But I mean, yeah. in terms yeah. of how it's managed, I guess I would ask that you just give me a minute to investigate what's going yeah. on with the Chinatown Beach before we just, I mean, I, I hear what the Finance Committee recommended, yeah, sure. but I'm just saying that right. I don't know, Let's and the other there's other story. towns involved, and I'd hate to just, you know, well, bring up. we're getting loaded up something. on the, I, I know we're getting very loaded up on the March 6th 
meeting because that's also yes. the public hearing for the um, elementary school, which I want all of us to participate in, the finance committee and the select board. So how about um, we either meet the following Wednesday or... Um, March 6th? Or no, the one after March the, what, 12th yeah. or something. No, because you're not back yet still. No. Um, so let me just get my calendar. Um, so then we would be, um, can we meet, ask the Tritown Beach committee, when the swim I committee? When I first was elected, I remember this was an issue, and they, I, we asked them to come right. forward, and it was, you know, a new person was taking over, and um, but I, I just don't have much so, knowledge so about how it's going. Can we, can, would the finance committee be willing to meet on um, March 20th with us and, and do one discussion with the Tritown Beach and the swim program. Would that be okay? I, that'd be fine, he, I guess. He can, uh, he can reserve his answer. Um, that you did, you you um, did have a request from the Capital Improvement and Finance Committee already to have a joint meeting with you on March six. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We are. We we. That's so the, the one you're. Referring and we also to. have the. The budget hearing that night, and I and for I the, for the towns or for the school for school. The school. And I want so. So you may need to take a look at that and see if we can do both of those. The same. Yes, yes. we should be able to because we can reconvene over here after the budget. But um, I wanted to do. We haven't been able. We've the three last three or four times we haven't been able to do a public hearing on um, vaping, banning vaping. Mm -hmm. um, so what I would like to do is have an earlier public hearing, um, maybe. Depending on if we can get, yeah, so we can get someone from DPH or the smoking program to come. Um, so if we have public hearing at four o'clock on um, at, uh, our vaping regulations, and then um, we try to do some business, and then we can go over to the six o'clock to the budget hearing, and then we can come over back here to do the joint. Or we could have the joint uh, CIP, C, CPIC um, at 5 o'clock. How about that? So 4 o'clock, the public hearing on the vaping. 5 o'clock, the joint finance, capital, and select board hearing. And then 6 o'clock is the school budget. Is that Frontier, or is it going to be both? No, it's just the elementary just school. Elementary school. Oh, it's, okay. But it's the first time that we can um, discuss Have you seen the, the budget yet? I saw an initial draft. There was work to be done on the school choice funds and stuff, but I saw Do you just go like this to you? Here it is. Bye. Pretty much. No, it, was, there was, it was the first pass, and, you know, we had quite a bit of work to do on it still. So does that make sense, Diana? I, it does. Um, it's a lot. And there's there. no... Um, Publication requirements for that public those kinds of public hearings, Carolyn. I feel that no. Um, actually, we don't even need to have a public hearing, but I always for, feel better if we have a public hearing through the CMRs and the Board of Health regs. You don't. Is that we have the ability just to do it in a meeting, but I would like to have a public hearing because whenever we change the regulations, I always feel more comfortable if we have a public hearing. We get input, have a little bit of a discussion. I don't really think that there's going to be a huge amount of discussion, so we should be able to get some selectman's business in between that public hearing that starts at 4 o'clock and the 5 o'clock, um, so, uh, you know, okay. capital finance select board. And then well, we should be able to either get, just go over to the elementary school with no problem or even finish up our selectman's meeting. Yeah. I'm, I'm also, I guess, a little bit, I, well, we're, we're completely off topic, so I, I want to, can we, yeah, can we thanks. wait till the end and, and talk about that? Cause, yes. Cause well, I, I just want Skip to make sure that he feels comfortable. So 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock next, next, on the 6th. On the 6th. 5 o'clock we're doing yeah, well. the public hearing for capital, capital. finance, okay. and select board. All right. Yeah, and, I, and then at six o'clock is what'd you say? Is the, the public the hearing field. on the elementary school elementary budget. School. Okay, gotcha. Okay. And and four o'clock we're we're hoping to do the That's the fourteenth. The sixth. Oh. Yeah, you're I don't gonna, you're gonna yeah. see if that guy can come. 
Right. Yeah, we'll have to 14. see. I don't know about that. Plus, Michelle. plus the other thing is we don't have regulation. Right. But you want them on the six? <laughs> this is six. Oh, we can have a oh. hearing on them. I put it down on the fourteen. No, this is six. Sorry. Okay. okay. Well. But you're showing, you got somebody's Let's showing see. up at the finance committee next Tuesday, so. I am. Let's see how we do. And I, I, apolo I apologize and to I you for problem. pulling out last minute. We will. Well, I'll, I'll be there as but well, Skip. The reason why I did is because Dick was very concerned. So I decided that we wouldn't go forward with this, okay. what I had planned. Okay. So thank you. I'm sorry. Okay, so, so did, I think did I, did I hit every topic that I, I was think you did. So I can um, leave the only last can thing, there's one more one topic one. you didn't, so and that is okay. So four we, I think what we've determined is that at a future meeting we're going to ask, we're going to do some investigation about the Tri Town Beach, right. find out what's going on with right. the statuses, yep. and ask them possibly well, to come you know, to a other, future meeting. The other thing is just, I, it would be nice to get a report on how many kids. Yeah, like we'll get, I'll get, try yeah. to get some information. Oh, we know how many there were in the swim program last year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it, it's a, we should get that well, we update do. every year. Is that right? They well, didn't they have didn't, it. They didn't oh, do right. it. Oh, right. Couldn't get some of it. <laughs> they didn't do it. Okay. But so we should have an update every year because maybe someone would be interested in doing it. Right. So. Okay. Right. Oh, right. one more thing so. that that, uh, that Skip was interested in before he leaves is the along with the annual election warrant, which I still we still have yet to get to in, in real terms from what Barbara wanted to discuss about it. But um, Skip also had talked about the uh, debt exclusion vote for the Frontier Capital Plan. Um, so, did you want to? Yeah, we is that we something need to talk get. About now? I, it, I'm not clear. I never have been. Uh, but the frontier capital, there is at least some portion of that that's available for debt exclusion. So when it comes to that coming to each one of the towns, what, what votes can we take? Do we take the votes? Does the school take the vote for a debt exclusion and then it applies to the towns? I'm not question. sure how that no, works. You know what? Um, we haven't had that this come up for a long time. As I mean, it's been years. So maybe um, yeah. Yeah. we just check yeah. with the yeah. council. I guess I, I think I can figure I can figure out sort of the answer to that. I've I've um, been part of regional um, schools that have debt exclusions, and you basically it's a portion, whatever portion of the project that you're going to be assessed for is what you exclude. Um, so we can get the details of that. But I guess more the question was. Process. Is that something we want to put on to the annual election? Well, I, think I wasn't so sure where Frontier was at in there because they've already voted that authorization to borrow. Is that correct mm, for the project? I don't know if they did. I feel like no, Darius sent me did. a vote. Well, even if they do, it's a. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's a process. It's it's what's the process that we. Right. Well, I guess well, I mostly wanted to know if the project was, was know, finalized wait, wait, at the school level. Uh, <coughs> I think it is, but I, I could be wrong about that. I thought they were going to wait and have everybody talk about it and then have a meeting, and then it was getting closer to, like, you know, April that they were going to, or May that they were going to, I mean, April or um, March or April that they were going to have that vote. They were going to give it some time for everybody to kind of figure right. this stuff That's out first. Understood. But the, um, I know Waitley is going for uh, some CPA funds for the track portion of that. So it might be something that, I mean, that, I know that process is closing pretty quick if we want to get in front of CPA about using any part of that funds for, those funds mm -hmm. for, for paying for the track. Just a thought, so. Okay. I know that, I know that Waitley is planning to do that. I don't know about Sunderland or Conway. Okay, can we go back? Is everybody all done? Yeah, we'll get more. Thanks, Thank, Thank you, Skip. Skip. Thank you. The job description and posting to the building commission. Um, I haven't had a chance to read this lately. I don't know if it's changed. Do we have uh, did, copies? I, did when I, and I went over it yep. this afternoon. And Diana, do you have the corrections that Kip could look at? Um, well, I, I gave, I, I thought I put these in your packet. I should, you should have um, yep. the ad and the here. posting in your packet. Yeah, but did you do the ones that have Dick's So the, So the, the, the job description, the only thing, um, Dick had reviewed it and just took out some redundancies, so there wasn't really any changes to that. The only change that we did make um, is that it, there was a, a 
phrase in there that said under the administrative direction of the town administrator or the assistant town administrator. We just took that out for now okay. until you know we have more certainty on that. Um, the ad is highlighted um, in the. So that's the um, that's the job description. This is the ad. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank you. And the the ad is also in your packet. The highlighted portion of the ad is what um, I wanted to to discuss with you mostly and make sure that you're all on the same page when we go out to advertise for the position. Originally, when we'd advertised, um, and we've since you know pulled that back and we'll be going back out. Um, we were talking about hiring a local inspector. A local inspector is, has the same level of certification almost as a building commissioner. There's two additional modules that you test as for a commissioner, including the financial module and the legal module. But a, you can hire a local inspector and have them as your conditional commissioner until they get those two modules passed. And the state allows you to do that for 18 months. So if you, um, you and you, you still have a commissioner, you're not in any kind of, um, that person is your commissioner, um, but they just have, as I said, that time to sort of complete the certification with the state. Um, it doesn't change their ability to do the inspections or the enforcement or anything like that. I think the financial and the legal module are more about them being department heads. It helps them in you know, that aspect of running the department. Local building inspectors generally are working under commissioners, so they're not running departments. They're mostly just doing you know, extra, you know, inspections on the ground or you know. I don't think that it makes much difference because you're basically saying with the ability to obtain the certifications, if the certifications wasn't that big of a deal, then why even bother? You know, so right. yeah. I, but I, so I, so I guess that. So the, the, he wanted somebody. The reality is, in his mind, is the applicants are not at the same level. They would already have been gone to commissioner if they had the level of experience that was necessary to do commercial, industrial, and residential. When you are a local inspector, for the most part, you come with just residential experience, yep. and that was his problem mm -hmm. with keeping that section in there is that he did not feel that he had the ability to babysit this person for the next 18 months. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that is, that's a genuine concern. I, I think that's very true. That local inspectors do have more limited experience because as I said, they're generally working under commissioners, so. Right, right. And I mean, I don't, I don't totally disagree with Dick, but I mean, you know, you never know who's right, going to apply exactly. for a job. That's right. I mean, Don't you want could to limit get, it. Right? You, you could get a, a local building inspector from Boston right. who's quite knowledgeable in high rise buildings and all these other things, but he was one of 300 local inspectors working under that's one right. commissioner. You know, that's not what we have here in Deerfield. Our, our, our community is small enough where our building commissioner is the department head and, you know, they mm -hmm. can kind of see things. Um, yeah, that's exactly right. That's it would, and Carolyn, you know, and I had discussed that too. It would depend on where your local was coming from, what size community right. that person right. was coming from, what so their breadth I, I of mean, experience would be. Yeah, right. if 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 we had two applicants and one was a building commissioner mm -hmm. and one was a building inspector, I would want to look more at their background and experience more right. than their titles. And, and Dick, so that is exactly what Dick was concerned about. Sure. So the reality is for. Right. Applicants locally, if you're a local building inspector, you generally have just residential experience. And so he was concerned. If you're in this area, I would, I would tend to agree with that, yeah. And so he was worried about that. Okay. Okay. So I guess so I guess that's what I'm wondering if you if we leave it in there we're we're just we're creating more flexibility because you could have commissioners apply or you could have local inspectors apply if you take it out and just have it be building commissioners then you're just limiting to building commissioners applying so I guess I wanted you to decide before we post the ad. I mean, we might as well see what's there. Cause Dick but I would want to see what was there. And then I, I don't have a problem leaving it in as long as it's clear that what we're hunting for. We're hunting yeah. for someone that's ready to go. I agree. And so just because you're a local commissioner, 
if you have no other spectrum. experience besides residential, it's, right. no, it's not enough. How do we word that? I mean, I think know. we leave the ad the way it is, yeah. and that we're, we're just going to determine that when we look at their years of experience and their qualifications and what the yeah. communities that they've worked in. It's going to be based on their qualifications. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying, and you're, exactly. you're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. okay. I right. mean, I, that was the only problem that okay. Dick had with this. All right. So I'll talk with him tomorrow. Okay. Okay. And um, you make sure you tell him it was you who wanted it back in. <laughs> I support you. I didn't say I wanted it back in. I, I said I don't think that it makes a difference. Right, and I don't think yeah. we want to limit, I, limit our options. You know, I'm just giving Kip a hard time because All right. Dick left here saying he wanted to make it clear that the, yep. he wasn't in a position to babysit for 18 months. Right. Yeah. Got, what else? Uh, um, and then um, you've got your ZBA requests. The ZBA requests yeah, comments for, comments. for the Hugh Mannheim appeal. Um, I... Uh, those? Do we have them? Yeah. The, um, o the only I'm thing sorry, I, I guess them, for um, us, um, I just want to make sure that this, there is a sewer hookup because my understanding is that there was no sewer there, and that was literally a pipe to the brook. And well, no, they'd have. What to is this? It. There's a, a house behind the old uh, Warren's Market on Thayer Street, yep. Polish Market, and the applicant wants to. I'm not sure what it, he wants to renovate it. So I, we I feel make, like it's I've heard absolutely, this and I, it needs to be hooked up to sewer. He was hoping not to hook up to sewer, right. correct? And, and, and it's yeah. like, I'm sorry, you have to be hooked that. up to sewer if you're going to make it residential. Right. And number two, and it's opinion. not a choice. Nobody has a choice downtown. No. And um, the other thing is, um, it has everything should be to code. There shouldn't be any. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, this is not like a yeah, summer camp or something. Yeah, would need to be brought to code and put on a sewer. This would be a residential. So I'm good with that. Yeah, okay. So our comment would be, or Diane, you want to fill this out for us? Sure. I'd love to. <laughs> that we just make sure that it's connected to sewer and everything is built according to building oh. codes. Yep. And sanitary codes. Okay. The request for comments for Deerfield Industrial LLC. Um, I, I really don't feel like it's our, our concern because... I mean, it's between Mass DOT and well, this right, and this they brought this before us recently, and, and right, and it was to so that they could park trucks over there, and now they want. Well, they have a they they applied for a curb cut through the state. Yep. And the state issued them permission to do it. They constructed it, and yep. they ran into. Um, combined with the uh, DDIC people saying that they had some sort of covenants not allowing it. Okay. And I don't so think that we need to get involved with yeah, that. Yeah, it's not that. That's, not our, that's not our No comment? No comment. No, no, comment. no, comment, no, no concerns at this point. I mean, as long Because when we say no comment, what right. happens is and that that's is different. Is, is, it, is your state. comment no comment or no concerns? No okay. concerns. We already reviewed the articles well, for the annual town. Election warrant? Is yes, that true? No. Wait a minute. Hang on. You guys one are sec. in two different so, places. Hold. Please I just stop. want to make sure I don't have any issue with it. Is you know it, that really is a an issue for the state and DDIC to deal with, not the select board. Correct. Right. Okay. So, so that's it's mind. it's no concerns at this. So, point. no concerns. Okay. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, I think you're basically like it's, saying it's not our it's not, it's not our, our concern. It's not our jurisdiction. Right. Yes, that's okay. Yep. All right. So maybe that is that okay? Yeah, we're saying? staying in our own lane. Yeah, not not our well, jurisdiction. It's not. It, it potentially could be our jurisdiction. We're choosing not to do. Well, do you genuinely not have concerns, or do you genuinely do think not it's not, not your jurisdiction? We do not have concerns. I don't want to get into jurisdiction <laughs> issues because that can be interpreted one way or the well, other. Well, that's right, because that's two different things. By saying it's not relevant to you, so you're not going to talk, you're not going to make a decision or to say you're con not concerned. That's what I feel like are sort of two separate things. Well, part of me was concerned because I, we just had this discussion recently, and now all of a sudden it's back before us again. I'm, I'm confused about that process. Like What discussion? The discussion was before, I believe, this board, correct? When we yes. were talking about... And we said we had no concerns. We had, so no, we had concerns. no concerns. again. Okay. Because that was... Um, That's a not our... 
Dedic they put it in the, the quasi and it was to, to be unit. able to park the trailers right. from Yankee over there or something. Right. And that's what they want to do, right? In and out with the Yankee yes. trucks. So. Yes. All right. So no concerns. Yep. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't so mean to belabor the point. No, it's fine. I just to make no, sure Diana, you haven't seen it. We've seen it twice. <laughs> that's right. I want to make sure you, I didn't understand you're saying the back, correct thing. So. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Okay, Thank so you. So we already spoke about the uh, articles for the annual um, yeah, the only thing I just wanted to, um, Barbara wanted me to mention just a couple things about yes. the annual election warrant. Um, there are, uh, I guess we had to add a constable uh, term. Mm -hmm. So you'll see that there's um, three constables instead of two now on there with the same terms. There's going to be three constables with staggered terms. Right. Um, there's no li library trustees on this election warrant because we are uh, addressing our uh, issue that we found out that we may have too many trustees, library trustees. So they're just going to so phase them out we're... over the next couple of elections. Correct. Back down at the, the correct number. Correct. Um, question one we've talked about. Um, the question two about the debt exclusion, we've got that. Um, okay, that's all for the ballot. I, I did mention. ask um, the assessors to um, write up um, a recommendation kind of thing, like the, similar to the finance committee for question one. Okay. So there's some background because yeah, so they the know town what meeting voted this. This was by petition and it was voted several years ago. And I think people May not don't, remember re that. don't remember sure. or confuse yep. why it's coming that. up in the ballot. And this yep. is this is the second part of a, the two part series. Yep. yep. And, the, and the assessors do support it. So they're going to come out in some kind of statement. Excellent. Okay. Uh, next thing we get the uh, certification incentive for the assistant treasurer uh, collector. Nope. You missed review job description for town administrator. I did. I'm going to leave that for last. Okay. Um, Sorry. I make a motion <laughs> to approve the certification mean. incentive to um, uh, assistant treasurer collector. I had talked with, I, I second that. I had talked with Barbara and she's had it in her budget for the last several years and um, I'm not sure how the finance committee moved on that, but I would support that. Okay. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Excellent. Fantastic. Thank you. And I did give you a week. I, I gave you a report, a written report that had um, some updates in it. I had given you um, both updates on projects and then just some of the, oops, excuse me, some of the departmental um, oh, yep. items I've been working on this week. I just want to mention a couple things. Um, uh, let's see, the... Town report, I'm going to get that together. Yeah, I guess just, is there well, anything... I wrote something last time, but we don't have yeah. a lot happened in a year. Yeah, I don't, I guess I don't really have anything, to, I mean, if you want, I didn't, I know you don't have a lot of time, so we don't have to go through it, it's getting icy out, but... Um, just this is the kind of stuff I've been working on this week. I met with the uh, senior center director about some transportation issues with the senior center. I uh, met with the superintendent about the Frontier and Union, not 2838 um, capital plan and budgets and some of the challenges he's facing with his staffing and trying to get mm -hmm. that um, the business manager position uh, yeah. post, uh, get it hired. Um, we had started police union negotiations this week, as you know. We did have a slip and fall at the Deerfield Elementary School this week. It's been reported to our insurance company. We're waiting um, for that action. Um, there's a PEC meeting in the works, our, our Public Employment Commission, um, due to health insurance changes that are going to mm -hmm. take place on July 1st. So that's going to be coming up. Um, we have had a request for an agenda item um, for the letter uh, for the driveway access permit. Um, so we'll, we'll, you know, address that. Um, we've had a request about regrading the town accountant position. Um, so I just put that on there. I don't know if you have a process for that, but I did want to note that that has been um, something that's been brought up. And then I'm, we are uh, working, we're receiving applications for the transfer station attendant okay. hiring. So that's kind of the departmental stuff, all the project <coughs> stuff. Um, you know, you can. I guess um, for the regrading of the town accountant position, Diana, maybe you could um, start working on that um, so that the personnel committee could look at that in their next meeting so that we can incorporate in the final budget process, okay? Um, you know, reflecting that um, our town accountant handles all the budget process and all that kind of stuff that wasn't in her original job description. So I think it's, you know, changing the job description. 
okay. to reflect what she's actually doing now. Um, and the other thing that I just want to make sure that uh, is addressed, we haven't, um, have you reached out to, or have you heard anything from UMass about this um, spraying stuff? I haven't heard anything back from okay. them. I will so, reach out to them. Oh, I was going to say, we need to have something um, from them, you know, for the March 20th um, meeting would be really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I, re I recall when they left, they, they had sort of indicated that, you know, they would take it back, but right. I don't know how. They didn't indicate they were going to, you know, well, we, what, what their response back to us was going right. to be. Right. I will they follow up with them. And, see where right. and, and, and I would like to try to see, is. have them try to come back March 20th. I don't want you to be confrontational, but I, I feel like you could put it in the same sort of level of concern that James has in bundling up. I feel like our residents should have the same consideration and the opportunity to close their windows, bring their pets in, that kind of thing. So I would like them to try to come back to the March 20th meeting because I would like us as the Board of Health to make sure we're addressing a cease and desist order if we don't hear from them in, in the month of April, okay? So they talked about a spring open house, right? And they were going to bring people there and discuss what they were doing. I know, but right. we had asked, specifically asked for a plan on notification mm -hmm. and, um, you know, more uh, MSDS sheets, um, that kind of thing, Trevor. Yeah. That is really important. No, I hear you. Yep. Okay. I know that, I know that, um, was it Lynn Rose was doing some? Yes. Research on that as yep. well and sent some emails about that. Yep. Okay. Okay, then next item is to review the job description for the town administrator. Okay, I can give a quick background. Um, so <clears throat> I started um, the process of trying to get or trying to get a process going for uh, town administrator, town administrator search um, now that Wendy is gone. Um, and um, I had met with us. We, there was been discussion, I've been polling people, should we hire a company and spend $15,000 to do a professional search? Or we should, you know, um, when I mentioned it to um, a few different leaders in town, I was asking, you know, would anybody want to be on the committee, the search committee? And we've got a really good group of people together on the search committee. And when I was talking with somebody in town, their wife does searches for people. So not specifically town administrator searches, but she works at the at UMass and does a lot of searches for faculty and stuff, and, and admin people. So she offered to offer to help the town do that. So I thought that was a great great process. So we started to meet and gather the information and work on an ad and get the um, the the job description together and and started to kind of pass that out to the board the people that we were, you know, would hope to be on that board um, or that committee that, and, and then there's been question whether the, the job description that I put out with that, that we were given to put out with that, that I thought was the most current one, um, is different than what we've had in the past. So I've been trying to research that a bit. So there's two job descriptions that were given. One was from, a, has a date of 2019, which I think is just, the only thing that's changed is the date. Then there was the 2009 job description that came back that was significantly, not sig there's some differences there in how, what the power of that person would have. So I said, well, where's the one in between? Because we did a search for Wendy and we did a search for, you know, we were gonna hire Ira and we didn't come to terms with that. That was a 2014 town administrator um, job description, which I pulled off the computer as I dug through a bunch of folders today. That job description, 2014, is identical to the one in 2019. But it's different than 2009. So I wasn't around in 14. I was around in 17 when, and 15 when we were looking for Ira and all, and I assume we were using the 2014 one. The 2009, I don't know when that I, so I don't know when the personnel looked at something or when this board, before we were here, looked at this. Um, so I don't really, I guess, I guess the, regardless of where we are or where we were, 
we should just look at both of all three of these job description. I think two are the same and one's different. What do we want and have a discussion of what do we want, what are we looking for in a town administrator? And then once we decide on that, just go through the process, send it to the personnel board. Hopefully they can look at it in the, in, on their first of March meeting or first week in March meeting, approve it, and then we could, and then talk to you about the schedule of how we would go about looking and who's on the board and get your, get your approval for all of that. So I just well, want some guidance and help. The only thing that I can, like that I can share in this is the, the personnel board has never seen this or none of them that could recollect. And uh, I know they reached out to past members and they, they don't recollect this uh, one at all. Well, and, do they and, recollect any of them? Yeah, they do. Which one? The 2009 one. But they haven't seen one in 2014? No, they, they haven't. I, not that they were... That they could recommend, that they could remember. Okay, good. But, so that, going, that's what I was confused but about. But going through, the, even this one, um, the you know, no, this oh, one's in 2019. Yep. You know, right off the requirements, it says the town administrator will refer specific issues or problems to the select board as necessary. I don't, I don't think that's a good, I think we should, uh, the select board should always know what's going on. We shouldn't rely on the town administrator to determine what's important for us to hear and not important for us to hear. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I haven't had a chance to go through, but even like all of the essential functions are even different than they were before. So yeah, it, I, think I think it takes, it's gonna take some time to go through it, but you know, the, the personnel board now does have this one, and I know that they're going to address it at their next meeting and, and go through it. And they should probably then get a copy of the 2014. If they could look back yeah. through their minutes from yeah. about 2014 and see if they have approved this one. Sure. Because I think the only difference between 14 and 19 was that the date was just updated and maybe the grade level, you know, because it was contract, it says contract now. In 14, it was a, I guess, a grade six. And, um, well, it was exempt. Yeah, but uh, well, the grade said six, and now it's contract, and then this is exempt. I guess that's exempt, but so I don't know what was approved back then and what wasn't. Um, you know, this one says select board and board of health versus just select board back then. Oh, that gets it reports to. I don't know. It's a little different, but I think that the well, context the 14th, is, the 14th is the same. Board of Selectmen, and we're a select board. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. when, you, when you look this up on a computer, and I'm not real good at it, yeah. does on the computer tell you when this was created? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it should. And I think it was, uh, I can go back and look at that. I, don't, I hope It would say, yeah, when it was created, right? So we could do that. I could do that tonight yeah. before. Please. Yeah, I'm just curious. Yep. And then I know, this yeah, one, I know I what think. that says there, but that. Who knows? Right. Yeah. So, um, so how do you want to handle this? Do you want so us what, to, how, how about? Well, can we just talk quickly through, yeah, about what, yeah. we, what sure. we'd like to see? So, you know, I guess one of the main concerns was, was the, um, a strong town administrator versus a weak town administrator. And I think there were concerns from some department heads that if you ask for a strong town administrator, you can't ever talk to any of your department heads again. Everything has to go through the town administrator. We set policy and that's that, and, and the town administrator runs the show. And I know that's not my intention, because I'd really rather not spend multiple nights here if I can't talk to anybody and I'm just doing. Remember standing. I, I, yeah, it's not, I think the commu our community is a little different than that. We tend to want to be involved a little more than maybe we should be. <laughs> um, but I, I think, I think, you know, in my. Go ahead. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm picking <laughs> my words. words. Um, <clears throat> and, and it's been my experience that um, in any position in town, you know, uh, if it's going good, it's going good. And if it's not going good, it's bad. And I would hate to have this town in a position where if something was going bad, it would be difficult to change that. Mm -hmm. In this specific position, because it's such a vital yeah, and, and especially since there there are there are contracts involved, mm -hmm. uh, there are, there's a lot of legal things involved, and that uh, you know it, it I, I don't uh, you know let's just say I've I've, I've been burned by the stove, so I, I'm not going to get too close to it again. So 
My, my concern is, um, so I've been struggling with this question a little bit since it got brought up. I, um, I feel like I want a happy medium because I feel like there's, um, I, I love being able to talk to department heads and you know, discuss and try and help and yep. reach out and uh, work with the town administrator to kind of solve those, those issues that they're having. But I don't, um, but th there's a problem for the department heads that I see is that if you have three people coming to them or four with a town administrator with four different ideas and they're going like, well, what do I do here? I'm running in multiple directions. Not that it happens all the time, but I'm sure, you know, they kind of feel like, oh, well, you're the boss of the town. You, right. well, you're telling me to do this. And then, and then another one comes and says, well, what are you doing that for? And so it really should all really channel through the town administrator uh, our needs and our wants for the and directions for those uh, for those department heads and yet I still want to be have some contact with them and you know reach out and work with them and in and, 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 and close coordination with the town administrator because it really should funnel through their job it's their job to oversee you know the what what you're trying to do with this balance that you're talking about is really important because it is we have good department heads mm -hmm. and the whole purpose of paying and having good department heads is that they run their departments themselves and and it, it's important to have us being involved I mean I don't want to come here and, uh, night after night or go to meetings and just be a rubber stamp that's ridiculous I mean, you know you don't need it anybody for that so I'm not not for a strong I'm not for a town manager or a strong strong town administrator but I'm looking for a facilitator because it's important that we that the town administrator facilitates and that's where you it's a happy medium it's not they telling what the department heads to do that's why you have strong good department heads they are the experts in their departments, mm -hmm. but it's the, the town administrator is the facilitator, and what we do is if she facilitates or he facilitates the interaction with the department heads and the department and encourages the department heads to reach out to us. And an example, a prime example, is John. John runs his department extremely well, and if any time like officers are leaving, he reaches out to the three of us. And the three of us individually talk with him on his concerns and his game plan, and you have input. But it's not like you're going in there and telling him how to run his operation. Mm -hmm. He's soliciting us to this is what's happening, this is my solution, do you have any input Be on this? And because he's, because this town is set up as a weak town, a, a weak police chief, chief, the chair of the board, the selectman is truly the... The, the one person. The one but, person. But John, as a good manager and, and a, a good communicator, reaches out and says, this is what I'm thinking of. And, th and at the same time, he's also bringing into the loop of the town administrator. So he's, he's facilitating the information. And then if we have concerns, we can express it to John individually. And then if John feels like there's not consensus, then he goes to the town administrator and says, look, there's not consensus. We need to put it on the agenda for an open meeting discussion where we could try to reach consensus on what we're doing. And so it is a fine balance, but by so what having... what happens when you don't have a good, strong person or you can, have a person... Can I oh, yeah. comment too? I oh, mean, of course. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, could I, I mean, I, first of all, I'm, I just want you to know when Skip left, he told me it was getting very icy out. Okay. So I just want to be cognizant well, of that time-wise. I, I don't want to... I want to yeah. live tonight. Um, <laughs> I just want to. I, I just want to say quickly. I don't want to belabor your discussion. I know it's it's really meaningful, but I just there's a lot of words you're using here. I think, you know, you don't have you have always the absolute you know right and and to to talk to anybody you want to talk to department heads or anybody as individuals. But I think what the challenge is, I I I find what Carolyn's saying to be a little bit disconcerting because what I hear you saying is that. 
that you, that you, the way that this would work is that the police chief can speak to you individually about an issue, and you're going to all talk to him individually about it. And then if he doesn't think really that you all agree on what he's going to do, then he might come to me to try to help me build consensus on something you guys have already well, all spoken about. I didn't about. articulate it probably really well. <laughs> yeah, so you know what but I mean. I think it needs to be the opposite. That, that is the a good department head. Right. I, you I, don't need to man. You're I don't think that right. I don't think that your administrator should be ma should be managing any departments. They're not. I'm not. I don't have any uh, uh, experience in managing a police department. I actually I do have experience in managing public works and accountant, and, but I don't have. You know, I'm a, I'm an administrator. The department heads have the the experience and knowledge to manage the department, the operations of the department. But what the administrator needs to be able to do is manage the, the, the operations of the town in a cohesive way. And that means working with all of the different department heads and the different department needs and trying to pull that together in a, in a way, in a vision, in a, in a budget, in a, in a narrative that you can all get a rec build consensus around as a board that you, that the board I feel like the administrator is here for you to give you the data and the information that you need in an so objective we have Yes. way that's been vetted in, an, in, a, in a way that, you know, where I'm giving you as much information so you can make an educated decision in, in building consensus around that. But, and so I worry right now what's happening is a lot of um, chasing after things that are, that are going down the road because you've already spoken to this person or spoken to that person. And not that that is, you know, you, like I said, you can still have those conversations, but I just, I just worry about keeping that, um, you know, just just coalescing all of that. I agree, the person is supposed to be a facilitator, but they can't facilitate a, a forward moving vision if everybody is kind of like all over the place, having all of these fragmented, siloed I, that's discussions. That's where I'm trying to talk about of having more of a, <laughs> you know, three people giving a department head one direction and then, you know, and then leaving the yeah. administrator. I, I, I feel like that puts the be. department heads in a terrible, terrible position. And if you have, like you said, it can go both, like Kip said, it can cut both ways. If you have a great department head and a great board, it, it can all work. But if you you have one one board member that, that doesn't work well with the department head, and that board member is following the department trucks around. Or I've had all kinds of issues where department heads have come to me and said, you know, I, I can't I'm, I can't do my work and manage you know this board member's kind of interest in my department. So you guys might all have this idea from where you're coming from and how you would handle things, right. but you're setting something in place that is maybe go beyond your time, your right. tenure. So you just yeah. want to kind of keep that in mind when you're setting you know, up that. Well, and this, this job description this that job. you have is, you could probably look in every single town. It's, 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 it's pretty much it's like 30. a standard. And it, it's all in the person that you hire. It it's is. your fit. It's who's going to who's going to really carry it out the it way you want it to person. be. This is all just words, you know. Right, it but, is. But there are some. <laughs> but they're, there are they're some meaningful. Words I'm not. That, yeah. You know, the supervising. Of course. You know, the town administration shall supervise and be responsible for the efficient administration of all department commissions board jurisdiction, yeah. which is which was not in the 2009 one, and that's yeah. you know what people are. I concerned. haven't like, seen the 2009, have. but I know yeah. since then you've also had a report done, a town governance report in 2013, that yep. basically articulated just this, this one simple point, is that the Board of Selectmen had individually been, been you know, approaching department heads and dealing with town governance on a very individual basis. And what was happening is there wasn't consensus building being done at the board level. That's what DOR right. was telling you back in right. 2013, that some of your struggles were around that. And when they're saying strong administrator, they just mean somebody who can handle, you know, all of these differing it's competing interests very, and very can articulate job. to you, you know, some of this information and all that, keep everything. I don't think, you know, they're recommending you have a strong manager or, a, you know, that kind well, that's, of a... That, that's that's you know my whole I mean? concern here is because, um, you know, it, even if it's, it's happening right now, we, the town doesn't have uh, what I consider an adequate, adequately staffed town hall. 
And so it puts a lot of burdens on you right now. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, you are spread very thin. I'm not saying you can't do the job. I'm just saying you, you a lot of different directions. And there are more things that are going to come up. And that uh, I think that if you are going to have a really strong town administrator, they have to be relieved of some of that stress and stuff. Because it, there are so many things in town that need a certain amount of time spent mm -hmm. on them to understand them and why. You can't make, you know, immediate decisions sometimes. Right. And, and I think even going back 10, 12 years ago when we had some, those types of things would happen time and time again. And so when I read language like this that says, you know, that they will, you know, refer specific items, I don't, I think that's terrible. I think the select board should know everything that's going on. You know, even though I don't agree that, you know, I should go out and chase Kevin or Trevor should chase John. No, that's not how it should happen. And I do understand that it probably did. But those are things that the town has to work out. I don't right. think that putting all of your eggs in one basket, you know, saying, okay, oh, hey, this is going to be your job, I'm not going to deal with it, yeah. is the best way. I think it's best if we all work together. Oh, I yeah, no, I don't good. disagree with that, Kev, I think so. There's a too. huge amount of work to be done, and I feel like no matter how much you, you could do right. or the person or even your assistant could do, there's tons Right. It just keeps coming out, out of right, every right, right. Well, the more, I think, you do, I think, the more you do, the yes, more you do. Yes, I think the just emphasizing the working together in a collaborative yes. way. So if you, like Carolyn had mentioned at one time, and we had these in orange as well, that every year the board would vote liaison. So you'd have a liaison. So you'd liaison right. to public works and planning, and you'd liaison yep. to, you building, know, building whatever. or whatever. So, mm -hmm. but, but the idea of that is, so you go and liaison with the department head, but the, the key component of that is that whatever comes up out of that information has to come back to the board like so yeah, that if there's sure. a, if there's troubles or, or challenges that need to be addressed or or a project that's going on and that and that some you know that works really well so I, I don't in any right. way I'm not trying to say that that only you know this will be the only channel of information you can right. have boards and committees I'm just saying there just needs to be a real strong coordinated effort to make sure things are getting done effectively. Right. That's all. So maybe it's not a facilitator not, so you know. much, but someone that. A coordinator. That coord I don't know. I mean, we've been through this. I don't know. Yeah, it's all it's all now. part of the same. You're you're it's administrating. You're coordinating. You're. But I'm just I I'm agreeing with you. Right. I'm just saying just be careful about um, changing the language too much. Um, I I think you know just. You know what I mean? I, yeah. But I'm agreeing with the intent we just of what want to you're make saying. Sure, well, you know, there Don't are some, disagree with what you're right, because it does depend on who you hire. You could have somebody in here and they hire under these pre pretenses and they, they are like, sorry, this is this is what it says right here in the job description. Yeah. But that's, I run this. Yeah, yeah. I think know, that'll be part of your contract. Correct. It'll be part of your discussions you have. And, Absolutely. Yeah, this Absolutely. is just a guidance you know, document. I think right. there's probably but, something in there that says all other things as assigned or, but, you know, But, whatever. you know, but, but, but to that point, <laughs> this is not just a guidance. It's a legal document. So, like what Trevor said, you know, if, if I just make that. I don't if, think this is. If Betty Jane is the town administrator and she has a final approval of whether or not Santa Claus can sit on top of the tree and she says no, what do we do? Yeah. This is an a, this is an illegal document, Kip. I would argue well, it's not a contract, but what it and I think you sometimes they even have language in them that say they're not. But what it is legal an a legal document for your essential functions, so yeah. for discrimination and things. But your contract is going to be your legal document. Right, not but your, it's still everybody refers to this well, would what is be the personal policy? Yeah. What's the job? What's the job description? So how do we? Like how do we? Um, is everybody going to take their? Ideas and well, jot them down. I mean, and get them I to think it's I think it's ridiculous for us again to do this individually. We have to have more discussion, which and I don't well, want to spend not spend time, time on this time because on we, we need to get this, this posted. Well, but you know, like we I want us to have be a team, and how do you advance the vision of the team? You've got to be able to facilitate or make sure that the vision is clear that we agree on the vision, we agree on the priorities, and then we're a team together marching forward to make sure it happens. Right. And I, this is where, you know, things have, and part of it is we've been understaffed. So I'm not, huge but 
we seem to lose our priorities and we end up always being reactionary instead of trying to march forward mm -hmm. and being, let's get stuff done. Right. And, and, and I think that's what's so frustrating over the years for me. You know, I have been the hugest advocate. I've spent hundreds of hours of chase down tons, trying to chase down tons of grants for senior housing. I don't have one single thing to show for it. And, and the person that when we were a year and a half, we've been talking about getting this church, reached out to the housing authority. We got all kinds of things going. We get the church, and it's like dropped down to nothing again. And, it, and I can't stand it. It's, it's, this is, we need to say it is a priority to get senior housing in this town once and for all. I don't care if it's only six units or 20 units. We need to have some truly subsidized senior housing in this town. Why can't we do that? And it just seems to like it's it every, comes and goes. It's, I know. Well, so and we need a good and strong I think you facilitator. Could, you can do it. I right. think you and can do so, it. But you know what I'm trying to say. So I hear you. Somehow, yeah. even question. though like it's icing up and we have no time because every single night we're out, yeah. um, we've got to figure out some way that have a priority setting. But you we, know, we need to be able to say well, this is this is the kind of person that we want, and this is the kind of person that we're describing in this description. And I don't know how to do that. Well, I think, well. I think it's, it's all right for us to, to work and talk about this and, and do this, but it, it kind of like, to go to your point about the senior housing and a lot of things in town, it's difficult as a community, you want to have a lot of people involved. But I, I, for me, it, it just seems like you, know, you need to have, take a vision and have some trust. And, and where I come from with that is all of my life I build houses and the vast majority of when I build a house I used to paint everything white. And Michelle says, well why don't you paint this beige or paint this salmon? And I go, salmon? Are you kidding? You know, people loved them. You know, and even when, you know, she said, well we're going to paint this gray, we're going to paint that white. To me it's like, yeah, but when it's all done it's like, wow, you know, she really didn't know she what she was talking about. It was vision. So, and, and, and I suffered the same thing with the sewer thing. I had a vision, and I'm not saying you have to do what I said, but I had a vision of you know what needed to be done. And I didn't make this up. I listened to the people who run it. They told me what the problem is, and I came and found a solution. But then, oh, I don't like this, and I don't like that. It gets pulled in 40 different directions, and you know the vision gets blown up. Same with you, senior housing. It, you, you, know, you probably want to do this, but so it's, well, we can't do it there. So, well, we can't do this here. This is going to cost too much money. Well, you're going to spend $30,000. That's where the problem comes in. And that's lost. why nothing, the vision gets lost and the waters get muddy. And you know, sometimes you, you have to just listen to it and sit back and say, okay, you know, that's the closest thing we have. Maybe we should go with it. Um, yeah. And I think I just want to add something real quick to that. I think part of that, what you're saying is exactly that, that once you get into these things, sometimes you get so much information, it's very speculative and you don't know, you know what exactly. to turn to. But that's where you should have a good, you know, if you have a good administrative team, and I don't just mean an administrator, I mean an, a, a team, a team yep. and you guys and all of, you yep. know, the admin staff, you know, getting you that information, trying to remove that speculation, trying to, trying to get more definitive information. That's how you keep the projects going. You keep facing that speculation and, and, and questions and you keep answering answering them and you keep trying to give give them more ascertain you know give them more certain data and that I think you have to keep doing that for years and years sometimes unfortunately Kip I hear what you're saying it's frustrating but I've worked in you know in, in local government long enough to know that that's what you do you just kind of keep doing it but I think in Deerfield a lot of times what happens is you then you have then you don't have an administrator then you don't have this person then you don't have this person and you lose every time you're losing that that momentum you're losing that collective knowledge you're losing yeah. that it's that true. the stuff you've already worked on every time so so think about that when you're drafting your job description <laughs> your so job how are we going to solve this are, are, um, are we planning to get together next week sometime well, or what, how do we want to do this? Yeah, so now let's talk about next meeting. So we have March 6th, we've already discussed. We're going to have a proposed joint meeting. Um, we're going to have a capital uh, meeting at 5 o'clock uh, with Capital Fin Common Select Board. And then at 6 o'clock, there is a public hearing at the school that we and we'll, want And we'll to get back to you. And about next Wednesday, 
we come back with our changes on this thing and have a five minute meeting to just get, or however long it takes to just get, because the, the issue is if we don't have something voted by this board for a job description, it's not gonna get before. I mean, the, right. the planning, yep. I mean, the personnel board's gonna look at it, but they're just gonna look at okay. three no, empty I, I moved, I moved my, that. Or even the, I moved other my night. meeting on the, that was, um, on the 13th to the 27th, so I have a six, I have a five o'clock CP, CIPC meeting, and I have a six o'clock meeting up in Burniston. So. Okay, so that night's out. Um, Tuesday night doesn't work. No, Tuesday is scams and finance. Monday night doesn't work. Mon one Monday, oh, Monday, Monday night. Doesn't for me, but. Oh, oh scams meeting was. Scams meetings is 26. 26. 28 doesn't work. <laughs> Why did, oh, it's 28th? 28th, the select board. So, oh, no, oh. I'm on, am I on the wrong month? You're on the wrong Hang month. On. That's thank next you. month. Thank you. Thank you. Um, by the way, I will um, email Natalie and Joanne, uh, Joe Cumberford about the change on that, okay? About the date change? Yeah. Yeah, I just the, secured the hall. So, I, yeah, I don't have anything that night. I don't have, so we have, oh, it's a first talk health annual health meeting. And um, so we could do something. What's your meetings on Wednesday? You have nothing. Is there any chance, um, Kip and I, um, not this, well, I don't know if you want to wait that long. When, is the, when are they meeting? The week the after, fourth. March 4th? What about next Friday? Kip and I were already planning to be here at 2 for okay. a meeting with the union if that was still going to go. This, this Friday, but next Friday too. We had them every Friday for a couple. So, like so the first? The first, first. I mean, I don't know if, if that's the it's earliest. my dad's 91st birthday. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> that's not good. I don't know. I just was throwing out that. Um, yes. uh, or we can just get this information. Think about the changes we want to get. Send them to Diane this week. She could compile it. See, send it out. If, the, if, we, if there's consensus, then we could just move on from there. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have a huge. Yeah. Well, I don't have a huge weight in this game here. I just want confidence, and I want uh, a good facilitator. I want a nice, comes confident down, person. It comes down to That's you know the it. the interviews and and right. everybody that applies, and we look at that stuff. And we're, we have Tom Scanlon uh, offered to be on the search committee with John uh, Paturic. Uh, me, um, Brenda Hill, and, and Satu Zoller, so who's kind of helping run it. And so it's a good group, and we're welcome to take one other or something, if anyone has a, somebody that needs to be on there. Yeah. I, um, I think we can pull together, we'll see pretty, what we get for applications, and we'll. I, I, it's really important to be having a nice, competent person. Yeah, I, I hear you. Who's willing to be a team. Right, but person. I'm just saying, with, with some of this language, is this something that I think that we should consider striking, because I want, I think that the select board should always. Kip, how and, about, and how about you? Yeah, just what you like out of Just what you want. Yeah, I will. And, 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 and then have, sure. have the, um, the one uh, thing that Diana I. send it back out so then we can feed it. Sure. The one thing that I thought was a little strong language in here was um, the town administrator should be the chief budget officer of the township's repair and submit the select board. And the to the select board and finance committee and operating and capital well, budget. I that think doesn't that's even that's not of, even there because that's why we're doing redoing Brenda's job. Well, schedule. that yeah. I mean, so there should be discussion. Well, I mean, there yeah. should be. Yeah, I mean, a the town administrator. To right. I mean, the town administrator is your chief budget off. It, 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 that's a weird. That's a weird yes, language. But weird but language. basically, you the person the the. The town administrator, what the what the town accountant is doing is critical in the process. She's she's creating all the documents, she's creating the data, but the town administrator has to make sure that the budget is like that cool. it's an operational thing, that you're looking at the operational issue. Like I'm making recommendations right. to you tonight exactly. about operations. It's it's that kind so of budget oversight. And also to make sure that um, uh, yeah, just that everything. So can you sort of rewrite that, coming, Diana? Coming yeah. together. Based yeah. I, I mean, I'd be happy to, to sit with you, yeah, Kip, if you want to. Why don't you two yeah, guys sit together? All right. If you're and, comfortable and Diana, what Because I do to... see that, I don't have the 2009 in front of me, but the 2014 has some language. It's a little, you know, a little kind of antiquated. I think we could update it and make it seem, feel more comfortable. How about you comfortable. two work together? These are the and three. And then resend it out. Okay. 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 And then start trying to have another. But 
you could meeting. see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Just having another meeting together, just working. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Does that sound okay? Out? And then I'm happy to hear what you come up with. Okay. Yeah. All right. If it's we not, have any major concerns, I think we're on the same page. I do. I do too. I think we all have the same a, vision a, of what we're looking right. for. So that's I good. I don't think it's a problem. But the okay. budget. The reason why I wanted Diana to rewrite the budget part is because it would better reflect what yes. we're doing with Brenda now Absolutely. and why we're rewriting her job description. I agree. Um, it would be good to look at it because we're going to be looking at the town accountant job, so it's perfect. Um, okay, so I just want to finalize on the fourth. One of the things Carolyn did mention is doing that 4.30 public hearing um, for, the, for the... Or 4 o'clock. For the... For the regs. Um, the six. On the fourth... The four o'clock on the sixth, right. four p.m. So a couple Are things. You on I just drugs? no. You, so, said, you said the fourth. I just no, 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 four o'clock. Yeah, four o'clock on the sixth. I said, I said four. March sixth. Um, I just want to. I want to. So we didn't have any discussion about that. They weren't on the. <laughs> Right. The and regulations no, yeah, are not, not on the agenda, the so I guess six. that's a little bit Four of a concern I have. I feel I'm a little too. behind the, the behind the yeah. behind no, the. Jumping no, the gun no, on no, that. No, no. Yes, what's we are. What's I hear you. Is Kip is trying to organize an, an actual uh, official visit. Right. No, it's not that. I think what? that. What? No. What am I trying to do? You're going to have Michelle bring in somebody that's like an official visit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, but I, I have concerns about getting this all together for March 6th, only because the regulations we have are only draft from another community. We don't have any regulations for Deerfield that you've, that you've looked at. You actually have to do anything that night. But you have, you'll be, have how can you have how can you have a public hearing on regulations you have, that you don't have available to, to show to have? To, to give out, you know what I mean? Because they that was like a five or six page document. I don't think you can you can reasonably have a public hearing to a, adopt regulations that you don't. No, we're not going to. We're probably not going to adopt Somerville's regulations. No, you're going to, but you want to adopt regulations yeah. that are similar right. to those, and we don't. We haven't crafted those regulations yet to to look at. But that's why I'm going to talk to Michelle. Okay. I'm going to organize with. Um, uh, Michelle's going to try to get a speaker, yep. and, we'll, and uh, we'll try to get something together for uh, a posting the week before. Okay. Yeah. Well, like she said. Well, she said it's easy for Kip to say yes because if he does something wrong, it isn't going to be me because I'm the <laughs> staff person. So I, I'm, th I don't necessarily. I'm concerned about that, Carolyn. That seems very loose for is coming there, to a public a hearing on 12? March six, and we have is no there a meeting. Is danger of doing it the twelfth? Can we just wait another or week the, on the public the, hearing, the twentieth, or can we no, just do it? The, uh, like the no, I mean we week? can wait till the twentieth. Or the, or the, um, is there a date in the twentieth? Could, could a March I six wanted, agenda we just do the, the look at the regulations? The reason why I didn't want to do it the week that you were gone. Is no, I'm here on the thirteenth. Oh, you're here on the thirteenth. I'm coming back the eleventh, but I just won't be here that night. So. But let me. Let's do not. You, but the whole idea of DJ coming out here was to talk about. Not what our regulations are, but what choices we have. So right. maybe so we then, still could do that so we set. could still, you could, ha so that you could absolutely have a public information session on sure. the okay. six, but not a hearing. Right. I love it. All right. And I will, I will confirm with Michelle, and she can confirm well, with DJ. Okay, so let's look at our the March schedule then, so that we can give him a couple of days because he might not be able to come Carolyn's on the six. Carolyn's not going to get up her driveway tonight. No, I know. That's right. I know. I'll be off the road. <laughs> we're going to be, in the, we're gonna so, be sleeping in the cots. <laughs> okay. So listen. No, this is serious. So we'll give him the, the opportunity for the 6th and the 13th. You will be okay. back the 13th? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. And I don't have anything scheduled that night. So let's pencil in two days, the March 6th and March 13th. 13th. Okay. Hopefully he can come the 6th, and then the 13th we can have the public hearing. Okay. Yep. Does that make everyone feel So you still want him yes. at 4 o'clock on the 6th? 4 o'clock on the 6th, I think yes. that would be better for him because he comes from the Boston area. So. Okay. All right. So, so, okay. So we'll get that. So as soon as I confirm with Kip, we'll get that scheduled and put on the website. Public information session. You'll give me the, his information and what we're doing. We'll put that up and then, and then we'll, we'll have a public that'll be a board of health meeting. I'll also schedule a board Correct. of health meeting right. for that Perfect. day. And then yep. you'll schedule a board of health or selectman board of health meeting for the 13th. For the 13th. And the idea is that we'll have, it will be actionable to do for 
you know, like say March, I mean for April 15th or, or whatever. It was gotcha. Here. Perfect. Um, you know, some like a, the 14th or 15th of April or some, something like that. Thank motion you. to adjourn. Thank you, Carolyn. That I'll second that so motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> We're done. Thank you.